<laughs> my, oh, let me put the off the back. Y'all gotta come to Henny Palooza's just to watch Drunk Ice because that's worth the admission price. If you think I've never seen Drunk Ice before in my life, <laughs> no, no, I'm saying in that setting. I think we got some settings to beat Henny Palooza where Ice, ice has performed. I have video on my phone of Drunk Ice. Yo, Ice. Serenading a young lady. Ice is, <laughs> ice is single now, so we should be able to tell these stories, right? Is he? I don't want to throw one oh, of yeah, us. You never know. I don't know. Ice. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, nah. How come you never know when niggas are single? <clears throat> What's up with you niggas, man? <laughs> you know I'm single. That is true. All right, let me see here. Mall, hmm? you have no idea how funny this is. <laughs> this is funny. I'm laughing now. I ain't even placed you yet. All right, mic check, mic check. <laughs> no, 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 Joe Biden. Microphone check one two one two. Microphone check one two one two. We are back. I was damn sure about to say I'll name this podcast later. <laughs> Did y'all see that there's a will name this podcast later? Yeah, yeah I didn't up. think we were gonna fucking. Give them any shine. Of course we are. I'm gonna shoot them niggas when I say that. <laughs> that should <that'll, laughs> that be going tomorrow. Oh, Jessica fuck. and Jimmy. I think that's their names. Jimmy? Je- Jessica and uh, something. Jimmy took over y'all shit. Wait, what? Oh my god. Jessica and it's a guy and a girl. I will fuck Jimmy up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll name this part. Uh, yeah, I don't want to plug them. They niggas. won't get that far. Yeah. That's horrible. Fuck that. I'm not plugging them niggas. Niggas might go look for that shit now. <laughs> that's what I was saying. You know, <laughs> I can bring that go shit. Go rewind, rewind parks. <laughs> <laughs> We'll start from here. All right. No, 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 Joe Button. Microphone check one two one two. We are live. The Joe Button podcast, episode one twenty nine. I'm guessing. Probably around there. Yeah. One twenty nine. I'm gonna roll roll with that. That's correct. I'm tired of the fucking twenties. I'm sick of it. Uh, Episode one twenty nine. The Joe Button podcast. To my left is Rory, aka McGregor. A.K.A. Uh, Canelo. Anyone, anyone that's boxed AKA, in the last three months. <laughs> you mad niggas. You were somebody else on Channel ID me and Sim was watching. But anyway. You uh, were every light-skinned person with a beard, though. So That's true, too. Uh, I'm mad niggas. I'm, you know what's funny? I'm niggas that don't even look like me. Niggas call me Swiss. I don't look anything like Swiss. <laughs> that's a bit of a reach, but for joke purposes, that's kind of funny. Oh, whatever. Yeah, no, it works. <laughs> to my left is Rory. To, uh, to my right is Maul. To my... Uh, at at what is this two o'clock or one o'clock at two o'clock it's parks at what is this 10 o'clock at 10 o'clock is chris chris has got really snazzy clothes on today very trendy a lot of zippers on the shirt uh shout out to the youtube viewership everybody watching there yeah this guy's got man what's up what's up with this shirt is that a pocket do you unzip that That, part (laughs) wait (laughs) you expose your titties that way That is a nice shirt. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that is a nice shirt, though. But wait, is that a pocket? <laughs> is that a pocket? <laughs> oh, it's not even a pocket. Oh, man. Zara got to chill. <laughs> Zara don't even That shit get. is gnarly. That ain't great a fucking pocket. Anyway, Chris's shirt is real nice. Shout out to everybody on YouTube, and, and we rocking. How's everybody doing? Y'all good? Wonderful. Good. I feel like it's, it's been a long week. I've been anxiously awaiting this podcast. Me too. I wanted to do one over the weekend, I swear to God. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Me too. Why you hear me then? Uh, we we, we, we could have kicked keep, it. Yeah, no, we just keep the same oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. More content. There's more content. God right. damn it. Uh, well, what were you so passionate about? I was trying to... We would, uh, Let me just fill you in on secret. We were trying to guess what you were passionate about. I saw your tweet about you needing seven minutes. You just need seven minutes alone. That's it. <laughs> and not deal with a thing to not answer the phone. That's it. So I said, what the fuck is Maul want to fucking yap about? Just a lot of clown shit going on out here. It's like a war between like the cornballs and the real niggas, man. And it needs to oh. be addressed. Well, let me help you. Real niggas have lost that <laughs> war. <laughs> right. Like, Ten years ago. Long time ago. Right. Wait, Maul Once is, the internet came out, it was shit over. Is crazy, Maul bro. is just getting the memo that we nah, lost that. I mean, it's just, it's just, I'm sick of it, though. Like, okay. I'm just sick of it. I, I watched it for a while, and I just sat back, and I don't really say shit. I'm just sick of it. It's too much. It's too many corny niggas out here running around, and just they, they need to be checked. Like niggas need to be checked. Oh damn! I was about to segue, but I mean, do we want to start so aggressively? No, no, no. We're we gonna, we gonna get into that. Well, later. We'll get into it later. Yeah, we gonna get yeah, into that later. Yeah, that was damn. I have goosebumps now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I can't wait to hear it. You just <laughs> finished saying that you hate when niggas call you and say, uh, "No, we gonna get into it, but we gonna ain't gonna start with." All that. right, all right, cool. Rory, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm well. There was no any Palooza anything anywhere, right, this weekend? No. No, there was not. We was chilling. Oh, no. You was at... Oh, you had a busy weekend. 
Oh, no, I was out. I was definitely out. I just wasn't at Honeypalooza. Okay. Oh, uh, I did Meadows Friday. So Hove again. Okay. Which which was better. His sets are certainly improving uh, with the new... Of course, I mean, of course he knows his old hits, but with the new 444 shit, <clears throat> definitely better than uh, Made in America. Okay. I think this tour is going to be worth a ticket purchase. When does that start, the tour? It's a good question. I don't know. I think I, maybe October. I also recently saw that there's a cam tour happening. Hmm? A cam yeah, tour? That, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Cam just put up dates. I'm going to try to make the T-neck show. Interesting. Yeah, I want to see that. Um, There's a lot to discuss. I don't even know where to start, guys. Let me pull up the, the list to see where we can begin. We need to pray for Kevin Hart. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know if we... Do we want to start with Kevin Hart? I don't know if I want to start. start. Let's start Hip Hop Honors. Did y'all watch the Hip Hop Honors yesterday? I'm not starting with the (laughs) fucking hip hop. What type of cornball are you? See? What, do you want to end with that? That, No. That's your final joke is the Hip Hop Honors? No, I don't want to start with the fucking Hip Hop Honors. I only even caught the Hip Hop Honors because it tailed loving hip hop. And I want to talk about that too. (laughs) Let's talk about the fight. Maul, who owes who money in this this bed of ours? You owe me money. (laughs) How I owe you money in a split? Because you know that wasn't a split. 118 to 110 was fucking ridiculous. Triple G definitely won that, but it was a he phenomenal fight, fight, man. That, that was bullshit. But I get it. Vegas has to win. They just gave McGregor and Mayweather all that money a couple weeks ago. They need to the rematch. They I get definitely it. need the rematch. I get it. But come on. 118 to 110 is fucking ridiculous, man. Who owes who money? You just you owe me my... money. You know that Triple G won that fight. I saw your I saw your tweets. I know I know where you were leaning during the fight. I know I know how you was feeling. You know that Triple G was winning that fight. You but know it, that. But it was a split. It was, I mean, the, the refs say, but you know in your heart, when you woke up this morning and looked in the mirror, you know Triple G won that fight. I have no idea what's in my heart. Now, you know, <laughs> that, you know that's, Triple, that's, that's, you know Triple G won that, that fight. That line that's doesn't what affect you, me. I'm you know that. You, let's just be real. Teeth. You my no. man, it's split. We can go to the rematch. We can, better, we can double down on the okay, rematch. Okay, so my new question, since you want to tap dance, Gregory Hines, in a split, who owes who money? I'm not asking you about our opinion on who won the fight. And a split, I nobody just, owes okay, nobody I just money. want to be perfectly but, clear but, and have that But document. you know that Triple G won that fight. Listen. If you have that, two eyes and a brain. You saw the fight. That's a matter of opinion. Yeah, I'm not trying to argue with you about opinions. I'm just not trying to do that. I just want to go on what we... You know what? Let's put our biases... That's a word, right? Yeah. Or is it bias? I think bias is plural and singular. Yeah, I think so, too. That. I think so, too. I wasn't in school that day when they went over there. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't do long division yeah, to this day. I think, I think Rory's right. Fucking, um, yeah, our bias aside, this was a great fight. It was a great fight. This was a really, really, really good and fight. And it's funny, the as we speak this about this, look, Happy Trails, Adele, uh, Adelaide Bird, they're getting her the fuck out of here. 118 hey. to 110 is ridiculous, man. That was crazy. Yeah, but that don't mean that Triple G won the fight. I got Triple mad G won that sexist fight. remarks. I don't. I, don't I thought it was a pretty even fight. I'm not. I'm only a, a casual boxing fan. I thought it was. How was it an even fight when he, when when Triple G landed way more punches? But there were little punches. I had it around it eight six as far as <laughs> rounds. Floyd Mayweather wins every fight throwing those same little jabs. They're not. He doesn't win on power punches. Floyd Mayweather doesn't knock anybody out. He wins on points. Just tapping you. That's a point. So now when Triple G does it. It's a draw? Man, Triple G was getting his ass kicked. I don't know what fight you What? Saw. Triple G was getting fucked his up. His ass kicked? He just also was fucking up homeboy. Come on, man. Stop what? It. He Triple was definitely wasn't not getting, getting his, his ass, ass kicked. <laughs> he took a lot of big hits, though. He wasn't getting his ass oh, kicked, Oh, maybe man. you didn't see his face after the fight. I don't know what fight you Did saw. Did you see Floyd's face after the Pacquiao fight? Did yeah. you see his mouth? He had to sip Coca-Cola through a straw. Yo, Maul, I don't know what chick of yours Floyd fucked. It ain't you a, got ain't it out no, for Floyd. Floyd ain't fucked. I, don't, I don't care about Floyd. I'm just saying it. People Why we always say, bring up Floyd? Huh? Because because it's it's okay when it happens to Floyd. People don't talk about it, but when it happened to Triple G, it's it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, he lost the fight. Look at his face. Look at Floyd's face after the Pacquiao fight. I'm just saying Canelo still looked club ready. That's okay. all I'm saying. Okay. okay, so what does that mean? That means he didn't lose the fight. A lot of fighters after they fight Floyd look club ready. Floyd wins the fight. None of them ever look club ready Come after on, a Floyd, Floyd fight. Don't beat Name one person who looks club ready. People look fucked up after Mayweather fights. Come on, man. Do you know, Floyd don't, all right, Mayweather Mayweather fights you know what I'm saying by club ready? Man, club niggas, ready means not a right, scratch man, we, on you. All right, we, 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 we don't what, all right, what that boxing always, match you know that uh, not a scratch on every you? Every single Floyd fight, I look after the fight and say, damn, Floyd can go right to the club right now. He looked like that after the Pacquiao fight? I was going to say. Yeah. No, he didn't. Nigga probably went to the club. No, he didn't. 
No, I'm sure his he went to the club. Was, his mouth was sitting all the way in California. You're the only nigga that has his Pacquiao. His whole mouth was swollen. You're the only person that has Pacquiao winning that fight. I never said Pacquiao won the fight. I'm just saying Floyd Mayweather's mouth was fucked up. He was, the at the, he was at the press conference after the fight sipping coke through a straw. You might be the only person I know that even brings up Pacquiao still. Okay. What does that mean? What does that have to do with this fight? What I'm saying about this fight, you just said Triple G got fucked up. He didn't get fucked up. I'm saying I wasn't mad at the split. Triple, I, I they don't gave agree. him a split because Triple G is a knockout artist. He didn't knock him out. For the sport of boxing, I wasn't mad at the split at all. You nah, do they, have they need part two, especially with where boxing is right now. You could get a rematch they, they if somebody that. won. You could still get a rematch if somebody yeah, won. Yeah, but, but the rematch. It didn't have to be a, the split rematch makes to be a rematch. much more sense more. after a draw. You don't have There's to. Way it more doesn't money have to be a, a draw for that to have a rematch. I don't know where people get that from. No, I, I agree with you, but you don't think there's more money if it's after a draw? No. There's a lot oh, more. Su- there's a lot more suspense after a draw. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a lot Especially more suspense after, after this draw because people know that this wasn't a draw. All right, you proved my point. Well, more. they more, were booing uh, Canelo after the fight. I don't know what fight you saw. All right. Maybe the fight was on FX. All right. I don't okay. know. <laughs> I, don't, okay. I don't know what fight you saw. Right. Where were they booing Canelo after the when fight? When he was speaking in the ring after they were, the fight. No, you're right. They did boo him a little bit. I, no, I, no, yeah, I know did. him right. They, did. they booed him. Well, it was I, I, well, I didn't know if they were booing him. They booed him because they, they know he lost the fight. But he yeah. lost it was that a, fight. It was more of a Triple G crowd. Look at the punch that. when he walked in, you could tell. My thing is, look at the punch So he's going to get booed. Just look at the punch that. Okay. No, so, I agree that Triple G won. Okay. I'm on that Listen, side. Listen, let's take a second here and so, so I can tell you guys about how I did admire Triple G. That nigga goes straight to the fight. It ain't no dancing and dodging around with him. Right. He's getting right to the business. <clears throat> right. He looked like he was fatigued for two rounds, and then magically he looked right back to the business. He took a couple shots, too, and just ate them shits. <laughs> like... Well, on a load, a nigga's face is like the thing. <laughs> I would assume that he could take a punch or yeah. two. Listen, just go yeah. look at Teddy Atlas's his review of the fight. He's one, no. of the few, he's one of the few people in boxing that I totally respect. I'm not going to read anybody who agrees with you. So. What are you talking about? <laughs> he I'm was not. just breaking down That's the whole terrible. sport of boxing. It's particularly this fight, but he was just talking about boxing in general. And how just, it was crooked and how it was just follow the money trail. That's all, and, that's and, all sports, by the and way. And a sports writer, a sports writer tweeted a, a week before the fight to pay attention to Adelaide Bird's judging. He tweeted that a week before the fight. Yeah, when, once the judges' top, names came out, because top rank had called her out before or something yeah. of that they nature. They were right? they were wilding about something about thirty k ending up in her bank account after Listen, some man. fight or some one eighteen some while, They've been they've come been on, on this chick oh, for a little while. Come on, they said the same thing even about Karen she, Civil. Even if she would have said, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, don't man. Say that about Karen. They, I'm saying that's what they said about Karen. I'm not just buying everything that they say about people that stole thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> Fuck out! I love Karen. She didn't steal it. I'm not talking about Karen. I'm talking about the girl. She got paid off to judge a fight that way. Fucking That's the same paid. thing they said <laughs> about stolen. Karen. Why, why was her bank record just public? Who, Karen? No. The, oh. <laughs> no I'm talking about Karen. I don't know who y'all talking about. We're and talking I'm, about Shorty I, that, that was the judge. <clears throat> oh, okay. I don't know anything. They were saying on ESPN, I forgot who it was, that like 30K just ended up in her bank account. Granted, I don't know how they found out. That sounds like that 30, I don't know if they checked her Venmo timeline. Where yeah, it was like, like 30K sent to you for judging. Yeah, fuck out of here. Well, first of all, it co- it's going to cost a bit more for me to throw the fight. Right. A 30K, 30K yeah. for a boxing match right. that's that's a garnering a fucking half a billion? Right. Fuck out of here, 30K. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's not happening. That was the parking fee. That was just the first payment. <laughs> yeah, that could have been the. That was a shit. So after the fight, uh, the thing, what's homeboy's name? Fucking uh, Turtle G. Boy, that nigga slow as shit. Who? Turtle G. Who's that? Triple G. Why you call him Turtle G? Because he's slow as shit. Oh. Turtles are slow. Okay. See I didn't know that I, was see his what name. I did. Oh, that's the name Whack you gave him. Yes. Oh, okay, got you. I'm naming him that more. Okay. I'm not talking shit about either of those guys. Fuck you up. Did oh, you watch uh, Triple G versus Jacobs in March or whatever month of February, March? No. He looked a lot more spry. I don't know. I don't know his uh, how many months he takes off, but Jacobs, he was. Granted, Jacobs is not as good as Canelo, but. He was fucking Jacobs up and looked way quicker. Triple G's punches land, his jabs land like fucking hooks. And he just didn't have that against Canelo. So I don't know if he's just kind of out of gas. He just didn't land, he just didn't land his, a big right hand all night. That's all it was. Oh, but on. his ja- Triple G's jabs land <laughs> much heavier than <laughs> what they did on this. Fax Kellerman over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Fax sorry. Kellerman. I thought we were talking about the fight. Look at this fucking guy. Fax Kellerman. <laughs> Fax Kellerman is funny. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Were we talking about the fight? Should we not talk about the fight? <laughs> no, or Rory, should we argue about something Every else? time a niggas get a good joke on Rory, he <laughs> try to bring logic in. <laughs> Fuck what you talking about. Facts tell him it's funny. <laughs> Stop interrupting us. <laughs> What's up with this nigga? Uh, all right. So you were saying. Oh, no. I'm, that's all I had to say. <laughs> that was the end of the shit. I, I stopped and then you spoke. No. Oh, fine. <laughs> well, what were we talking about? The fight. So Triple G, right? Just as I was complimenting him after the fight on how he goes straight to the fight, they asked him some shit because, first of all, he didn't answer nothing they asked him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everything they asked him, he just started freestyling. I could understand shit. the word he was saying. So yeah. was... The only thing he said in English was, I, w- I just wa- I want to fight. <laughs> That's all Tyson. he said in English. Tyson was great for that, I want but it was fight. in English. <laughs> huh? Tyson was great for that, but it was actually in English. <laughs> that motherfucker never answered a question after a fight. Yeah, homeboy was just saying... He was going his own rant. He didn't care what the fucking guy said. He was already had what he wanted to say out. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of Muslim shit and rest in peace to my friends. I'm going to eat his children and I'm out of here. Mike going to fuck you up. I'm a Mike Tyson stan. <laughs> <laughs> Way to clean that up, Rory. Word. Where did he purchase those pleas so fast? <laughs> um, all right, so well, I don't care about the fight anymore. As soon as the rematch happens, I'm purchasing it. It'll be a full year. I, I am buying it immediately. They have my I money. Know. I think I'm done with purchasing fights. No, Boxing is, is too crooked, man. Oh, this Teddy Atlas guy is really <laughs> shit. No, it is, though, because you're living in America. It is, though. Everything, <laughs> yeah, everything, everything you is crooked. breathe is crooked. Yeah, but no, but sure. boxing, they don't even try to mask it in boxing, though. They, they don't just, try to mask it in America. <laughs> Our president is Donald Trump. <laughs> Fuck out of here. And he's not trying to mask it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, I mean, away from that, I'm just talking about, it's just, boxing is just, I, understand, I see why UFC is on the rise, though. I can see it. That'll be tainted soon. I can see it because it's, it's just not already. You can't watch. You can't continue to watch fights and shit like that happens. Like it's because it's, I even seen people on on time. I saying like this is why boxing is going to shit because it's like come on man. Yo, Maul is like the deep drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Yo, somebody on Twitter said that you're the ghost of weed. I'm not the ghost of anything. I'm not the ghost of anything. I don't, I don't understand why this is the narrative Wait, about me. The ghost of weed. <laughs> I'm not the ghost of anything. That's funny, though, <clears throat> that they said that. That's not funny. And any nigga that wears this, is this a Nautica jacket? No, this is Nike Stone Island. Oh, same thing. Anybody that wears this and matches it with the yellow and those Jordans I mean, it's, is a drug dealer. <laughs> no, it's just black, black and with gray. The, no, I'm talking about the, the yellow backpack. nigga. The yellow nigga. Yeah, I mean, the know. fucking, yeah, knock it off. There's a lot going on. Knock it off, Maul. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <clears throat> What's on the dad hat? Colorblind. What's that? Uh, B, this is BJ's uh, clothing line. Oh, yeah. uh, Chris. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Uh, so that that happened. The fight happened. What did we get? Meadows. Man, let's just delve into it, man. <laughs> let's just get right to the shits, man. No? I thought we were I'm, into the shits already. No, I mean the shits. You want to start now? Now the show starts? Let's get to the shits. All right, now the show I think, starts. I think we got the opening music, too. That'll be a good way oh, to, wait, start, no. do we to wanna, start this oh, shit. Oh, wait. Do we want to get aggressive first? Or you want to talk about Kevin Hart? <clears throat> Whatever y'all want to do, man. I'd rather get, I, I want to hear the rant. I want to hear Maul's rant. I'm on the edge of my seat. <clears throat> you want to hear my rant? Yeah, I'm on the edge Does of my seat. Does it have to do with Kevin? Mm-mm. No, it has to okay. do with clowns. Right? Just clown niggas, man. Yeah, Listen, man. You can't make a bunch of money, right? And this is to, you know, I'm not I'm I'm, I'm gonna try not to put no names out there. Oh, damn it. But it's just it's just a lot of clown nigga shit going on, right? <laughs> You can't make upwards of $200 million and be hating. You can't make upwards of $200 million and be pillow talking. Shit has to stop somewhere. Wait, you can't pillow talk? Not when you have $200 million in your account. You shouldn't pillow talk when you have $2. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. $2? Slow slow down, gentlemen. (laughs) Wait, (laughs) wait, are we against pillow talking? No, 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 no. No, No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get... Bro, you are king pillow talk. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Are we getting into this again? No, no, no. Pillow talk. Will you just say some shit that you... No, no, no. Pillow talk. Pillow talk. It's what you pillow talking about, though. You can you can have pillow talk with the lady. I'm talking about the pillow talk when you talk about other men. Right. That's pillow talk. You can't do that. Laying your head on a pillow with a woman yeah, to yeah, me yeah. is no, not no, no. pillow talk. We're not talking about, yeah, I'm it's talking when about- when you talk about other men. Other men in the bed, right? Well, you have the girl already, fam. You ha- you in bed oh, with Oh, see, that's a different context he's talking that's, about. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm not saying you can't page, talk right? to the lady in bed. No. It's oh. what you're talking about. Oh, you should okay. not be talking about other men 
while you have the lady that you think that she might be feeling this other guy that you're talking about. You can't th- kick his back in and throw dirt on his name when you're mm. in bed. You got her already. You could. Nah, but that's corny, though. Mm. <laughs> that's corny. That's super corny. That's corny as fuck. I don't- that's that's reserved for corny niggas. Is it still? It's still and forever I mean, will be. I don't. I I agree with you. But yeah, it's corny. I know that I'm a weirdo. It's corny, man. Niggas got to stop. What this I'm shit. saying is, I don't know if everybody else is operating under that. They certainly they not. need to be. There's certain shit that just always will forever remain. All right. but, not, but see, that's, that's also, the problem. It's a lot of freestyling. Like niggas have lost the guidelines. Out. It's no out of bounds no more. Niggas is playing jail ball. And that's actually how I know. They fucking whack bitches because I don't understand how women could sit there and listen to a man talk about another man when y'all ass naked laying in 200 bed million. and think that shit is cool. 200 million. And Cordy motherfuckers. She'll listen money. to anything with 200 million. All right. That's a good point. First of all, I know I'm getting old because Rory just said bitches and that shit just sounded like the strongest word ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's number one. Number two, just for the sake of the podcast, I'm going to try to play devil's advocate. We'll play it. I'm, I'm with that right now. If I have two hundred million dollars, right, which I don't, right, I've never had that, right. So I just want to be clear in case the fucking stick up boys are listening. We didn't think you did. You know what's funny? The fucking stick up boys ain't even sticking up anymore. What are the stick up boys doing with they themselves? Scam, they scam your credit card oh. from their oh, own home. Oh, whoa! I don't want to meet one of them. That's a dual threat. A stick up scammer? Yes. Oh man, no! I don't want no smoke with a stick up scammer. Run your fucking ATM <laughs> pin. Are you, stick up are you scammer. kidding me? All right. So anyway, what was we just talking about? I had a point I was getting to. What, what you was were playing saying? devil's advocate? Oh, devil's advocate. Mall. If I have two hundred million dollars, and you get one of my women, and then I know it. I got to hate a little bit. <laughs> what are you hating on? You won in life, nigga. You got no, $200 million. No, no, no. What you mean, no? I'm Do you sharing, like this girl? I'm sharing a girl with you. I have $200 million. I live in my arrogance. I like all of my girls. Yeah, but then, but mm, that's, no, that's not how no, this goes. No, that's no. not how this goes, though. I'm, I'm, te- I'm, I'm stepping into the okay, and I'm brain of someone who... And I'm, and I'm breaking it down for your brain. All right, so tell me. You can't do that. I don't... I, there's no... I don't care. It's not even about... You just... You have to follow certain guidelines and certain rules at I'm, all I'm, times I'm, I'm as a man it's just certain things men just cannot do if we subscribe to that theory which you and i do <clears throat> right i'm talking about the new every man that should don't. be subscribed to it every man okay. you corny you, just thinking a man, about a man with a girl you should the not fact be, another man is involved you should with not you be talking weird. shit about no other dude to a female you shouldn't be especially when you laying down with her and you got her already you shouldn't right. i don't even about, care you took, if you, you, if you, if you don't have her yeah, even if you don't have it. Okay, here. All right, so let me introduce this here, right? And let's just delve deeper for a second. And women, stop laughing at corny niggas jokes just because they got money. Stop oh. doing that shit. <laughs> Mo, you're That's fighting not going to stop. You're fighting an uphill shit. battle, no, buddy. Yeah, good luck. At least, you at have some ambition, sir. Life. Stop doing that shit, Mo, man. Just, that shit is corny. It's okay to tell a nigga with money he corny. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, Mo. It's okay, is what I'm saying. No, uh, you could tell a nigga he's corny just because like, he got money. Like asking he's not dudes corny. to stop thinking girls are funny until they beat. Nah, man. It's not gonna happen. Nah, it's, it, it needs to happen. You know stop laughing at these corny niggas, that. man. This shit is not. Stop. La- stop giving these corny niggas life. Okay, but let me ask you a question. I'm just playing devil's advocate. How you know he's not funny? Come on, man. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, man. <laughs> you sit in a room say, and you hear niggas talk and crack jokes and you see a bunch of women laugh. You don't be saying to yourself that wasn't even that funny. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I'm not no hey, hater. I'm not a hater. hater. I laugh. If, shit, if shit is funny, I laugh. If shit is funny, I laugh. But when it's not... Yo, if shit is funny, I laugh. Yeah, I laugh. But when it's not, and you see everybody else laughing, you like, yo, but why she can't think ball, who it's funny? You, that shit ain't, ain't nobody ever roast me. Let's be no, clear. no, no. No, they didn't roast him, but what happened was somebody said something and she laughed. No, it's just that I, I, I've been sitting back... you saw her back, laugh. And you nah, like, I've been sitting back watching shit for a while, and it's like... Yo, it's really no more... God, niggas is out here just freestyling, doing whatever they want. To backtrack on that point, here's where you and I can relate. Joe, you out of this. We always had to really be funny or really do something dope for women to notice us. Ball players had money. They was tall. They could just do whatever, and women are going to go there, rappers included in there. Mm -hmm. We actually had to be funny, have great personalities, and do dope shit for those type of women to notice us. So naturally, we may be a bit salty. No, but when it's not. No, the no, 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 million no, no. dollar guy walk no, in. No, 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 Say, uh, why did the chicken cross the road? And every bitch in the room no, is no, laughing. No, 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 no. <laughs> you got me wrong. I'm not. See, uh, it's not even about the money. It's just, yo. I've had to be funny. No, it's not even about <laughs> that. My thing is, 
it's like chicks just be giving a pass to niggas because they got money. That's, I mean, that's the way the world works, though. Unfortunately, nah, but like that's in every aspect corny. of I don't, the world, that, that's corny though. It's okay to tell a nigga with, with money that, yo, fam, you're corny. I fuck with you, but you a corny nigga. All right. But you also have Wait. to look at the type of women that you're talking about. I'm going to play devil's advocate again. <laughs> play right. devil's advocate, Joe. The, the woman in here makes... But that's them hustling. Yeah. that's All right. And you're kind of getting and, what I'm and saying. And you can't you got to look the at hustle. the type of women. That ain't them hustling. That is hustling. Oh, man. That ain't them hustling. If you laughing at a uh, $200 million homeboy's that joke, that's not hustling, really funny. Man. Hey, let me tell you something. That's uh, see, Maul, the game Maul is a gentleman. I am not. This is what you a lot of you athlete niggas do. And I'm going to say that here because a lot of you athlete niggas listen to this podcast. Y'all tell me when I see y'all. So that that is my next point Yo, we to want you, tickets if you're listening. I we don't want, want nev- I know I'm not never going in no <laughs> fucking game. No way. I'm going to be in my living room. I don't want any tickets from you guys. But give them to Rory. Leave them at Will Call. <laughs> now. <laughs> now, uh, Maul. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Isn't that locker room culture? What? Laughing at a corny joke? N- no, 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 no. Niggas kicking niggas backs in. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm addressing it. Because it needs to be... Because for, for too long, it's, it's gone without people... Somebody saying something about it. And it's like... Now it's almost like the norm. And that shit is not cool. Stop talking about other men to females. Stop doing it. She, If she going... You got to... You got to... If that's how you got to draw a woman's attention, fam, you got to go back to the drawing board. You got to come up Listen, with another game. I tell niggas all the time, hey... Holla at whoever you want to holla at that that know me. Just don't use my name to do it. Please. Don't use my name. Don't Please. say my name. Don't, like yeah, you should me. never even be. Speaking well, that was about when I was man. in the mix. My jersey. Like, I don't in the even sky. know I'm if retired. I want. I don't know if I want the type of chicks that that works on. You should, no, <laughs> like, it's not that you it want. Buck. It's not that you right. want them like, chicks. I don't, like, I don't. I don't want any of these girls. I'm just saying. Like you sit back and you see shit, and it's like no, nah, y'all. No, nah, y'all want to fuck a few of them. All right, come on. Let's I just mean, come on. Record, I mean, yeah, yeah, but wanting <laughs> to fuck them and wanting them is two different things, though. Wanting to fuck them and wanting them is two different yeah, things, yeah, though. No, that's like, yeah. I don't want any of them. Now, would I fuck a few of them? Of course, they're attractive women. Got but what I'm saying that's what is, separates men and women. A lot of this, we shit, could want something. Or pardon, we could like something and not want it. Right. That but, separates men and women. Yo, I see where both of y'all are about to head, and let me just tell y'all. <laughs> Y'all opening Pandora's box. <laughs> but that's I'm what needs to happen. Y'all. We need to open Pandora's box. It needs to be spoken about. I'm sorry. It's too much clown shit going on out here. Niggas think because they got money, they they, they, they can, it's passes available. No, man. Money don't make you a real nigga. And that's what and that's what the narrative is fucked up. That don't make you real. No, it you don't make money. you real, but real is not Some what... of the realest niggas I know are broke. But you know what? They got a lot of loyalty, honor, ethics, it's a lot of clowns that they won't do. You naming a bunch of shit that don't look good or sound good in an Instagram caption. Fuck Instagram. I don't live And outside of I'm athletes, just telling you look at the world. The when you don't got universe, morals, small, you can make some all. money. I agree with you. Let me know, be very clear. I know you agree with I'm, me. I'm, I know, but we, we kicking it. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I'm with you on all I understand. of this. But I'm just, I'm just, I just got to get it out there. I just got to put it in the universe. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, unfortunately, and, and listen, I, I, I make these jokes, but a lot of these jokes... I, I I get from you these traits, these characteristics that you speak of. They are not attractive on Instagram, so that's not it. it's not what's attracting but the women. But that's the problem, <laughs> though. That's the problem. We got to stop living for Instagram. We women don't even want to hang out with you, my nigga. If the picture won't be good, that's oh, that's Sight. a fact. If, if it's not a if be... it's not a photo op, she ain't coming through. She's not coming through to hang out if it's not a photo op. Who gonna be there? Ladies, Where I'm, you going? I'm sorry if y'all thought that because Kevin Hart cheated, we was siding with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're not. Nah. We, it's, still, it's still men's rights, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the perfect segue to talk about this. So let's not, let's not delve right into it. Let's deal with her for a little bit. Is she leaving? Never. Well, okay. Let me take that back. Not never, but not for this. Elaborate. Kevin Hart cheated. Air quotes. Right? He cheated. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't think she'll leave because it's like, okay, you cheated. You were a man. You had a man moment. Is it fucked up? Yes. Is she going to leave, though? No, because part of being married is working through problems. They're married, right? Yes. 100%? Yes. All right. It's working through problems and working through, you know... When you take your vows, it said, you know, it's through thick and thin. Well, he also broke, broke those vows in that. Absolutely. She, she no, could absolutely. make that case. Why no, would she I can. work through it when you she were the can. first person to break a she vow? She can. You're absolutely right. But do I think she will leave? No. 
I think this is what I think. And granted, if there are any women listening, let me let me qualify all of this with uh, this is a a, ren, a a room of five men. Yeah. <laughs> so let me just say that. We but got- what I will say is, I think that a lot of a lot more women would tolerate cheating than even they would like to admit. It's when it's, it comes with the egg on the face that it makes things a bit more complicated. I think women are much more scared of the fact of being embarrassed in public than the actual act of cheating. Don't yeah, women just don't want to be embarrassed. Wait, hold up, Mona. I'll interrupt my point to uh, make the same point oh, I'm differently. So- <laughs> egg on the face is yeah, yeah embarrassment, embarrassment. Yeah. yeah I don't think that I women think, just don't want to be embarrassed they don't okay be but embarrassed. I saw a guy raise this point right and he was joking but I thought it was a profound point and the women are going to kill me for this but I just am opening dialogue the guy said oh, no girl wants to be embarrassed but it's never the guy telling everybody everything <laughs> right it's a fact that's yeah. a fact and then, and then, and How, then well, no, no, you know why that is? Because a, cert, a certain <laughs> that's something, a little that was genius when I read it. I was like, you know what? Damn it, he's right. <laughs> and here I am going to speak for women. <laughs> oh, they're going to kill us. <laughs> yeah, it's over. I think when women do that, they're trying to clean up the little bit that has come out to make them look better. I think it's a rush to try to look better through the embarrassment. It backfires ninety nine percent of the time. But I think when they do that, they're trying to clean up what everyone is assuming. Like that low he cheated comes out. Let me go on a whole rant on what happened to try to clean up my ego. And then let's and then okay. So now that I got that out, and then, and then let's just be all the way real. Kevin Hart is rich. He's one of the biggest stars in Hollywood right now. He wealthy. Do you think, think rich. that his wife is gonna leave that because of some cheating? And he wasn't even like out and open. It was a woman trying to get money and extort him and put the video out like. No, so he well, wasn't being yeah. messy. He wasn't like out in the open and no, yeah, no, ma, ma, ma. <laughs> what do you ma, mean, no, ma? Let's save that. Okay, but we'll boy, it. was he being messy. And the tape was released. Yeah, but it was released because he was trying to be extorted. And once they found out the money wasn't coming, they oh, put it out. Oh, you're saying you're saying you like the way that he cheated. If not for the tape getting leaked, he would have been cool. He would have been all right. You think this is the first time Kevin Hart has cheated? That's another point. How do we know that? He ain't been caught before behind the scenes. This could be the status. That's my point. I I, they might have an agreement. <laughs> That's my point. I don't think. I don't think they have an agreement. Uh, <laughs> I don't think women agreed for this. They, they don't sign up for it. Listen, women oh. know that. No, no, no. They do, but women know that side chicks exist. Women speak oh. about side bitches every oh. single okay, day. Yeah, that was the moment that someone just brought the box in here. They think about they they women talk it's about it's not open yet. No, no it is sitting I mean, at the table. It's, 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 it's on the it's table. It's in front real. of me. I'm looking at it's it. Just be real. No, you be real. I'm being real. <laughs> women know side chicks exist. They know that. I've seen married women talk about. Yeah, you were just a side bitch. Yo, this is they the problem. Back to this, the ego this Kevin thing. Hart shit is getting all of us in trouble. <laughs> nah, man, it, it ain't no, it's, just, it's just like, yo, listen, you just got to address what's... If people just be real... Nah, I ain't going to lie. Let's just be real. This shit, the Kevin Hart shit definitely spiced my sex life up. Let's just be since, real, man. Chicks, since, know, since, chicks know side chicks exist. They know that. Seems like she, she's trying to erase any threats out there. <laughs> she, sees yeah. what the, she sees what Nico's going through. <laughs> and she knows you don't have she's, $10 million. She's really, really holding me down. <laughs> Still grinding. I love you, baby. You hey, are amazing. Listen, man. You just uh, gotta be real. Kevin uh, Hart is is is, is rich. Maul, women know women do know side chicks exist, and I, here I am yeah. trying to speak for women, and I hate to do that. So, women, I apologize. Nah, for all just of being us. real. Listen, women know side chicks exist. Women don't know that side chicks exist pertaining to them. <laughs> well, they need to be real with themselves. That's all. See, what niggas fuck up at is where you start treating your side like your main. That's when oh, niggas get the game that's fucked That's the up real at. fucked up part. Oh, man. I didn't even know we were in for this. Don't, don't. That's, when, that's, when niggas get, that's when niggas fuck the game no, up at. No, no job bad. Stop treating the side like the main. Stop stop giving them side power where she feel like she can even talk and walk like she the main. Play okay. your part. I'm going to do it again, Maul. That was advocate. Why? What do you some, mean, why? Because niggas, you know what it is. Some niggas you, like to do that. The side, the side don't know that Kevin Hart is married with a kid on the way? She don't know that? The, the female don't know that? Of course she knows that. All right, then. So then you signed up for this shit. Play your part. 
Well, Instagram changed that whole shit because there never was, there never was. <laughs> saying, play your part. I feel like Maul's about to snuff me. Any no, <laughs> I'm just saying real shit. Play point, your part. The whole point of a side chick was just to be fucking the celebrity or the rich dude, but now you have Instagram where you can benefit even more financially off it. So they fucking you to expose you. No, oh, I, these, think these, Trey, yeah. I think Trey could give me 20 minutes the, of hits. These, these clown, these Yo. clown niggas. What happened was these it's clown unnecessary niggas, and stupid and unfunny. <laughs> these clown niggas gave these 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 side chicks a platform. See what I'm saying? This this is how Malcolm X said the roost is coming home to roost. This is what this is. You niggas gave these side chicks. <laughs> you niggas, you niggas, you niggas gave these side chicks. You niggas gave these side chicks power, and you gave them a platform to where they feel like they can start extorting niggas. Ain't that wrong? Where I'm from, you know, extor- niggas that extort niggas is gangsters. Gangsters extort niggas. There ain't no side too. chick extorting no nigga. When the fuck this start? When did this happen? Um, Ladies and pimps too. Wait, hold up for a minute. When now. these clown niggas gave these side chicks a platform, that's when it started. When you when you clown niggas gave these side chicks empower when you empowered them, where they feel like they can be celebrities and, and have platforms and they can start all these businesses off of being a side chick. That ain't that ain't real shit. I don't know if only clown niggas contributed to that. Clown thing. niggas ain't no real nigga empowering no side chick. Ain't no real nigga gonna give no side chick no power. You aside, my wifey is at home. My queen is at the castle. Don't ever, don't even speak to my wife when you see her, nigga. You crazy? Well, you my true. side. What we do, we do on the side. You will never be seen with me. You will never extort me for no money. Okay. In 2017, how do you stop that when every girl has an Instagram account and a phone in her pocket that could film and record everything? You got to be a real nigga because I know real niggas that's moving out here. And yo, shorty, you know, ain't no, I don't play that phone game. I don't play that. These chicks are sneaky. You can't be you can't out slick a can a can of oil, my nigga. Put that phone down. You know how we play. It's niggas out Shorty here. When had, you enter their house, Shorty leave had that the phone, phone in the car, leave all on that the, shit. On the corner of the room for Kevin Hart. You said what? She had the phone in the corner of the room I under mean, some Kevin, fucking He got caught slipping. Well, he was caught slipping. He got caught slipping. He was drunk. I'm not saying there real was, niggas don't get caught slipping. There were two of them in the room. And a that's what I'm pay, getting at. Lot, how do you stop it in 2017? You can't. No, no, you can. You can stop it. You're, you know what? This is what's wild. What do you mean you can't? We're, we're responsible for our own actions and our own behavior. We have to hold I'm ourselves accountable. saying once you've entered the side chick I hate thing. That, you know, what's the whack line that they say? The safest sex is no sex. Yeah. It's no, like I know. the I'm only way to stop it is, is not to, to like not to do it. I hate that, to be that guy. No, no you're getting poor, but, more towards my point fact. when I said that if you want to do that now, how on earth do you do it? Every girl has a phone. Every girl has an Instagram account. Every girl has a motive, as Mo is saying. Higher professionals. Even if you corny or not, it's it's hey, hard to tell, do. Let Higher tell professionals. Y'all, let me tell y'all NDAs and shit, I don't know how far you want to take it, but... Listen, and just, just so you know the law, I took the phone from a woman that I bought and paid for every single month and got charged as a crime <laughs> for it. Mattered none. Yeah. So, I mean... You don't even got rights, really. <laughs> yeah, because at that point... Because if somebody just pull out their phone and start taping you... Yo, you know how many times Sin has had to stop me from just going to beat up a fan? Right. You shouldn't beat up fans, bro. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree with you. I mean, legally, you probably should. I disagree with you. If, nah. I'm, if, I'm, in, if I'm in somewhere with my pregnant I'm fucking just, I'm just wife-to-be... And you are following me with your phone out. I come from the era where that's the jack move. Right. <clears throat> I'm paranoid. So if you are following me for five blocks and now you're only antagonizing me because I'm famous and I can't beat you up, guess what? I don't subscribe to that. I'm coming to beat you up. Mm. Back to morals but, versus but, what you can really but, do. But sin is my fucking is my fucking everything. So she stops me and then her crazy ass says listen the solution is i have to beat them up no no Pre- you're pregnant you're, you're pregnant sin. you sit down and relax go sit somewhere. in the car and lock the doors I'm, I'm <laughs> you, that's my baby in there man my baby is making sin somebody totally different but back to the clown niggas and mall it's an epidemic mall we've it known is. this you have documented this on my fucking youtube channel for over five years now i don't know why you sound shocked now Nah, it's just it's it's just it's out of hand. I don't. Though. I don't. It's, it's, it's out of it's hand. It's all out of hand. Yeah, but it's, it's like, all out of hand. Yeah, but we got but, but but niggas got it. We got it. We got to put this shit back in in order. We got to restore restore some order, man. How? What you mean by by nipping this shit like getting rid of this shit, man? Remove these clown niggas. Stop it's giving these niggas happen. power. Stop giving these. Stop clicking on this dumb shit. All this clown shit online. Stop giving this shit power and stop feeding into this shit. I'm with you on that. 
Stop doing that shit. That shit what is clown know? shit. Ebro's and a pillow I hate, talker. I hate, Ebro, I hate, you just stop pillow talking. Ebro's a pillow talking. I mean, there's a few niggas that's pillow talking. Yeah, like stop all that sucker <laughs> shit, man. No, for real, he's a pillow stop talker. Stop that shit. That shit is corny. Like I stop giving that shit power. That's the and problem. That's my man, but still, <laughs> niggas got too much. Niggas, niggas post shit and, and, and get a couple. Like niggas is online acting like women. That shit ain't funny. Yeah, but you got to understand with the y'all internet, when niggas put on wigs and a majority of the people that live and die off the internet and sit in those comments and are doing all that shit are the cornballs. They finally. Have a voice now. Yeah, well, man. We're having, we're having like an intervention. There's a major. There's more of a majority of them online than there are of us. So it's just gonna nah, get man, killed. It's just that real niggas. You know what it is? It's like real niggas such as myself. We just do away with it. Like man, we don't try to. But I can't ignore it no more. I do my best to ignore this stupid shit, man. There's, but I can't. I can't ignore more this of shit them. No more. I cannot. Us, I'm trying to tell you. The second on the don't. internet, less yeah. is more. My but nigga. not me, outside. So live you. outside. Don't live on the let internet. Let me tell you how this goes. The second that you say something about it, you're just bitter and a hater. It's, that's cool. And you're hating. I cool. That's cool. I'll take that. But niggas, niggas that know me know I ain't bitter on, and I'm not hating. I've that's, never hated on nobody. That's the same thing I say. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> but it's just like, yo, we gotta stop giving this clown corny shit light, man. Like, stop. This shit is not these cornball niggas. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. I don't care how many cars you your jewelry. If you a clown and you a cornball, you a clown in a cornball, my let nigga. Me, let me tell Period. You, let me tell you what's funny. And I don't know how much more rant you have. But I'm done. This man. is what's funny. That's a good combo. Just in that, just listening to his rant, I guarantee you I know who he's talking about. You know who I'm talking oh, about. I don't. I guarantee you. Know who I'm talking about. I know who he's talking about. You know I'm talking but that nigga's a f- mutt. Yeah, but nah, man. Shit is clown nigga shit, man. Oh, but that leads to my next, to my point that I was going to make about Kev. This is my theory. Pray for Kevin Hart. I 100% think that Kev was willing to pay for her to be quiet. Yeah, but he and I a, think that once she saw that, she doubled up on that nigga. Nah, I'm gonna tell oh, you what it she was. She didn't start at ten. Oh no, no fucking way! She nah, started at ten. Oh no, she didn't start at ten. I'm gonna tell you what it was. Kev had a real nigga moment. He said, "Yo, I'm not paying. I'm not being extorted. For, I'm gonna go to my wife, baby. Look, I cheated. I did some clown shit. Whatever. I, you know, what I'm saying it hurt me to tell you this. I cheated. But now we had a situation. She's trying to extort me. Ain't no chick extorting me. Listen, that's not happening." Hey, Jack, you hey, no, we're every, not condoning the cheating, but I'll condone the move of just fessing up to your wife, not paying yeah, be a this real bitch. Nigga, I'm using man. the word bitch on purpose you keep for $10 saying, million. Dollars. You've been saying bitch all podcast. No, I haven't. This is my second time. Yeah, but no, it's just, you know. And I've said it about a bitch. When I use the word bitch, I mean it. I'm not yeah. saying I've said women, chicks. And bitch, I, when I say and bitch, bitch is I say not bitch. gender specific either. I, as I well. agree with that. All right. Yeah. As long as we got that clear. There's a lot of bitch niggas out here. Oh. What's the good shots? I got you. I was making a point, but I forgot it. What were y'all just talking about? Kev. Uh, about the $10 million. Oh, she shit. definitely ain't start there. Yeah, no, 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 no. <clears throat> Fess up, man. All right, so let me tell y'all something. Ladies, ladies, hypothetically speaking, putting myself in Kevin's shoes. If ever I'm out, me, Chris, Parks, Maul, Rory, just having a blast, Saturday night even. And I hmm. pick up my phone, and it's a woman's voice saying, Joe, I need $5 million. Damn, you fuck, or I'm telling your wife. You fuck Dr. Evil? Everything. <laughs> no, but when women call with demands of money, that's the voice I hear. <laughs> I'm going to put her on hold, and I'm calling Sin. We're going to three-way. <laughs> I'm going to text her yeah. sin's number. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, We're going to have a nice big, that's going to be the here, funniest man. conversation ever. Yeah. What made her think money was coming from that? But Kev plays. Kev plays like that. So when you play like that, I definitely think she doubled up on him. I think she was surprised. I think more than double. I think she started at three and got to 10. And that's when he said, nah, I'm listen, cool. man. <laughs> no, ain't no hey, I think she was around five. Dollars. I think she was around Fuck five million. Man. So, but that's also like, that's like where Tiger Woods fucked up. When those type of situations happen, talk to your wife, not to the side bitch. She's the enemy at this point. Tiger Woods. You should be pleasing what your wife wants at this point. Y'all keep naming a lot of niggas with mad fuck ups. Tiger Woods, Kevin Hart, these are niggas that should write the manual on how to not cheat. (laughs) Where did I fuck up in this whole process? Actually, so. We didn't even play the clip. So let's start with the clip because there's so much wrong <laughs> with 
only the clip. Uh, yeah. Let's definitely I analyze e- that clip. I couldn't even believe this. I couldn't even. It's got to suck to be famous no. that you got to explain yourself to Instagram. Um. Oh, my God. I gotta explain well, myself Kev, to Kev y'all. Well, Kev is a public figure, so he kind of... No, I know. I'm saying it's like, it sucks to be there. <sighs> this is crazy. All right. I'm sad. Um. First of all, <laughs> let's start with the um. I'm going to pause it. I'm pausing this, vi- this clip. And sorry, uh, uh, listenership, if I'm going to milk this. But I'm pausing this every time he says something that I think is wrong. Now, um, fam, <laughs> you gonna off the rip start well, with a you suck your teeth and an um? You couldn't um. hit play after the um? You know why? Because he he just he's fed up. That's that's the sign of a nigga that's fed up. He had enough of this shit. He had I enough. I don't know if that's the sign. He had enough. No, he definitely had enough. He had enough he went, of this shit. Before man. this shit became public, he was going back and forth with old girl, back and forth with yeah, his wife. Like, nigga, it just what? finally got to this point. Fuck this, man. He done. Now I got to explain myself to the I public. Cheated. <laughs> I cheated. All right, time out. A lot of people were saying, well, if he spoke to his wife already, why does he need to publicly apologize on Instagram? Because he's a public figure. Public figure. And he's, you owe he's it got, to your and fans he's, and you owe it to... You and know. the same way Tiger Woods had that extremely like polished. I don't know if I owe it to yeah, the fans. Yeah, what what the fuck are y'all talking about? No, 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 no. Fans no, no, are the no, reason no. you are who I, I, you are. You I'm not owing it to the fans. I'm owing it to my career and what I've built. Kevin being, a, he's a comedian. What are y'all talking, talking about? about? Yeah. First of all, you don't think Kevin has a pastor? Listen, listen, y'all y'all are bugging. Y'all don't think Kevin has that? He owes it to his fans. His fans are the reason he is who he is, and he's in the position he's in. Of course. Okay, so you have to you have to address it, and you have to get it out the way. Because y'all don't you know think Kevin Hart no has a good image in coming. Hollywood? The of course he does. Coming. So he has to clean this up to fucking TMZ. Nah, he and owes the rest of fans, Hollywood. What are you talking about? Nah, he's a comedian, bro. His I, fans right. that look at him and so praise him. You should have cracked some jokes. So I have a question. Not, I thought he was going to do that. He's not a comedian. He's a fucking actor at this point. He got to clean himself up to Hollywood. I have a question. So how did he clean it up when he cheated on his last wife? No one cared because he wasn't as big as an uh, oh, actor or comedian. Come on, come on. People come cared on. as much. They did this much when he as cheated much, on his last wife? No, that's what that's, evolution that's is. Point. Time has passed. Not as much. But so there's yes, my answer. He was still a comedian. <laughs> Time has passed. He was still big and he was still an actor. He was not that big. Not, not even remotely close to what he is. I'm arguing semantics. I'm saying all of the things you're saying exist today existed then, not to this magnitude, but they existed. So you're saying, so you're proving my point. Do you have to clean it up? Now, yes. Or do you not have to clean it up? Because he did it before, and he didn't clean anything up. He, didn't he went to. on stage and made jokes. And now his ex-wife is doing interviews talking about how those jokes affected and hurt her. So, I mean, if y'all, y'all, what are y'all talking about? Damage control? Man, yes, I'm, right now, damage control. I'm That's so exactly jaded what I'm saying. by everybody's PR shit. This is probably a fucking PR. That's what I'm saying it was. He needs to, at this scheme. point in his career. He's got to clean nah, he's it up. he's probably got something coming. He's got a book coming or some shit. Do y'all agree with the people that... As much as 444 was an amazing album, it was still damage control. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Mm. That was just music, mm. bro. Yeah, that, mm. wasn't, that wasn't damage control at all. It's great music. Some damage control oh, in there. Shut up with your fucking hot take. Listen, uh, damn it. What was I just saying? What was y'all just saying? Uh, him having to do this with his last... Oh, are y'all, are y'all agreeing with the people that say that his whole Hurricane Irma... No, 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 no. That was, that was, was stupid. No. I don't agree with that at all. That was, no, I don't... I don't. Okay, Kev, so Kev let me ask you guys... So let me ask y'all... Why not? Because that's not... Kevin... This is what people got to remember about Kevin Hart. He comes from... Philadelphia. He comes from the, poverty. He comes from the being best poor. lies have the truth no, in no, it. No, no, no. I he, do know that he's like that. Really, yeah, he's he a, is he's like that. Really, yeah, he's that's not, why I'm rolling. Not what I'm saying. Yeah, no. This isn't his character is not in question. Mm-hmm. He is like that. Really. Mm-hmm. However, if he knew that this existed pre Irma, mm-hmm. I'm not mad at him strategically. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't think like that. At him strategically thinking to himself. Yeah, How but do I know, get ahead but, of but this? At the same That's time, just smart. But yeah, at the but same that. time, no one heard him cheat on his wife and said, okay, he could get that pussy because he really helped out with the hurricane victims. Like, I, it doesn't really correlate to me. And, and yeah, he's done just, so much charitable work it before. does nothing for him. Like, if, all right, he can get that one bitch off just because he helped out the hurricane victims. Listen, I don't think those two things worked out the same way. All right, I have a rule, ladies that are listening. This is going to be bad. But I do have a rule that I feel like would help 
if all of you guys just would subscribe to this psychology. If you guys would be agreeable, for every five years, you should get a, your, your husband should get a pass. And for every, I don't know what the dollar amount would be, but there should be a dollar amount that at every five million, 10 million, whatever y'all decide, your husband should get a little, a little, a little bathroom pass. We'll go out and go out and have a little fun. Wait, who gets a pass? Your husband. Okay. At every ten million dollars, you should give your husband a pass. Does you she... get perks for your husband uh, receiving those type of finances. Does every she, ten million. Does she get a I'm pass? Saying, whatever if she you... gets that money. She never has a pass. <laughs> 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 Just seeing where this theory is going. <laughs> does she get? Does she get five million dollars? <laughs> Wait, the double standard can't exist. It's a double standard world. <laughs> yeah, she gets a pass. No. She gets to use a pass. Who? Her, nigga. Your imaginary girlfriend that don't exist. No, my, no but here's where that doesn't work pass. because a man will fuck a broke chick that look good. <clears throat> Typically, a woman's not gonna fuck an ugly dude if you don't got money. Check so that's out. where that whole double standard has to come in. Let me get back to this clip. Which I think says worse about men than... I'm at a place in my life where... Fam. Hmm. <laughs> I'm at a place in my life. Mm-hmm. I'm at a crossroads. I'm at a place in my life, too. Maul. You, that might be- been- <laughs> you are at a place in your life. Shit, we've, all, we've all been at a place in our life. Your life is just a place. Yeah. My <laughs> whole, whole life is a place. That shit should be Maul's voicemail. Word. But wait. <laughs> I'm at a place in my how, life. How Kevin Hart is too much of a comedic <laughs> genius. To not know that you cannot say I'm Same. at a space in a place in my life. It you was, can't say that. It was downhill at um. <laughs> what he's at a, but he, he's at a place. It was in his downhill life. at <laughs> <laughs> He's at a place though. All right, well let's hear some more about the place. I disagree with everything that has happened this far. I think that he is smarter than this, but I feel like I have a target on my Yeah. He has a target. Are you, By the way. Wait, you're not pulling the victim part card after you cheated. Before you even said anything. After you you cheated on your pregnant wife on her birthday weekend. The target on my back shit was crazy. (laughs) Wait. You started with victim? Is Kevin Hart playing the victim? Yeah. He's playing and the he victim. Is a victim. Wait, 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 wait. He's wait. a victim. This is what's <laughs> fucked up. He is a victim. <laughs> a, he tried to be, he was, they were trying to extort nah, him. Nah, you can't start with victim, Maul. All right. You can't start with... He started with, with um. Nah, that's, you can't start with um either. He started with um. Or, he was sucking his teeth. Or, <laughs> or I'm at a place in my life. Yeah. Or I'm a victim. Mm-hmm. I got a target it's on a me. target on his back. You didn't know you had a target on you after fucking... What what was the name of those eight him in the rock movies? What's it? Twins two? Uh, what, <laughs> what the hell? Twins two. <laughs> it wasn't twins two. No, man. It was never a twins two. No, it had nothing to do yes, with it. It was a twins. No, two. it was not. You talking man. about twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> yeah, it, it was definitely a twins two. I'm not talking about them. <laughs> More, it was a twins two. It wasn't with Kevin Hart. No, it wasn't. Oh. I'm just saying it was a twins two. Oh, I but anyway, I don't know what the name of the fucking movies were. On this, this is like Kevin Hart saying. I got raped. I shouldn't have wore that outfit by saying I have a target on my back after you just cheated and got caught cheating. Listen, man. <laughs> Kevin Hart. I'm going to defend victim. women a little bit. You're in this. four foot two. <laughs> you should be aware of everything on your back. <laughs> That's just the bottom. You're a low the, yeah. center of gravity. Yeah, this is not like, why do you have something on your back? That's a surprise still. <laughs> All right. And because of that, I should make smart decisions. <laughs> He, he's right. He should make small. Mom, I can't even make this up. <laughs> yes, what? Kevin Hart. You should. Hey, and Kevin Hart, my nigga. I hate it had to be him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the joke's got to fly, dogs. Especially when you're a comedian. And you say laugh at your pain. And damn it, that's what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. Axe though my fucking joke. I'm going to fuck him up. But. Yeah, a lot of his special titles explain this. So let me explain. Laugh at my pain. He was setting up for this shit. That nigga been fucking these hoes. This is ser- this is seriously funny. He been fucking these hoes. <laughs> For sure. He got to have better taste than hoes, though. They was trash. No, this one wasn't. No, 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 no. She no. wasn't trash. She wasn't trash. Oh, wait, wait, she wait, wasn't wait, worth wait, all this, Wait, though. wait, wait. She wasn't trash. Wait, oh. wait, wait. Which one are y'all talking about? The Sound little, like y'all talking little, about the, the little singer, the songwriter on, from I, Miami. I don't, yeah, she, whatever one is. The that was one, an Instagram That was mistaken identity. That was not one of the women in the room. Oh, okay. Well, there was the that Instagram that was, leaked. She was nice. The Instagram that leaked first was not the girl on that video. That's not her. Okay. Shorty on Instagram looked really good. Yeah. Who don't look good on Instagram, Rory? Mm-hmm. I'm, 
It's a lot of girls that don't. Uh, was that, oh, that's please. That's All of them get the, the angles and the fucking lipo. Yeah, filter. The, the, see, yeah come on. See through the angle, though. Turn your phone upside down. <laughs> yeah, that's how you Hold up three fingers. What? If a girl look cute upside down, she cute. <laughs> what? Yeah. Y'all ain't know that? Yeah. Hold on, I gotta Wait, so what happens if you just what happens if you just flipped nah, your phone theory. upside down? Yeah. Come on. That filter can't you can't listen, turn the phone upside down Mom, when you see a, a girl that you're not sure about. <laughs> <No. laughs> right. I'm Why trying to help you, y'all niggas no, out. No, I'm married. Why are you <laughs> turning your phone upside down? Because doesn't you need your to phone see. flip if you flip it upside down? I don't think that changes anything. I, I can see why Shorty laughing at that nigga jokes. <laughs> she looking at Maul. His phone all weird. <laughs> she, <mean. laughs> she looking at Maul. <laughs> she looking at Maul in the corner. He's like, he's cute, but he's like dyslexic. His phone is upside down. <laughs> the font is big. <laughs> Maul got the big, the big tats on the phone. At least this motherfucker could dunk. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. Man, that, <laughs> that was cute. I like that. All right, so what the fuck were we talking about? What was y'all talking about? We were talking about the quality of the women. Oh, they they were trash. No, they were trash. They were trash. They were trash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you got too much money. You have too much money. You have too much money. You know what happens, though? His taste See, that's another reason I'm not fucking moving to LA. All these niggas get to LA and just love the like. The wackest. Yeah, the sixes. They go crazy with the sixes. Which is even crazier because there's pretty <laughs> women in LA. Right. And they still go after that the bottom sex. tier and they just pass them around. And mm-hmm. then they expose them on Instagram and then now we're here. 76ers. 76ers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin Hart played for the 76ers. Oh, my God. Bunch yeah, of yeah, fucking and when seven and sixes. And when your wife is as pretty yeah. as his wife is, you can't be smashing like whack chicks, man. So now. All right, let's get back to the clip, man. <laughs> and recently, I didn't. Um, you know, we got another um. <laughs> is he umming again? Perfect. I'm not gonna sit up here and whoa, say that whoa. I am. Or, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm whoa. not gonna sit up here. And, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna sit up here and. Amani tried to tell him. Fam, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect as well. <laughs> when was he perfect? <laughs> well, people thought he was. Honestly. Who thought that he was perfect? Fans? The six. No. The 76s? <laughs> the 76 The 76 I want to know who thought that Kevin Hart. Spank? <laughs> Spank? <laughs> <laughs> who thought that Kevin Hart First of all, perfect? I fuck with Spank. Watching Spank tweet through it was even funnier than Kevin Hart having to put out yeah, a statement. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Spank. <laughs> You can't just tweet like shit normal when you're a man under pressure. You got to abort the timeline, too. Get your ass the fuck out of here. He's trying to hang out with us still. <laughs> get some jokes off his shit. Yeah, fuck out of here, Spank, and pause your name. <laughs> <laughs> Spank. Name. Spank is my nigga, too, but come on, Spank. Uh, Say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape, or form. That's just extra talking. This is worse. I never claim to be perfect in any way, shape, form, or fashion. That's just extra words. And... I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen. And this is where I disagree. Good things can happen. <laughs> I think he was in a great environment. <laughs> he was in a hotel room. Great things can happen. Two fucking yeah. escorts. Mm-hmm. Bunch of money. He was drunk. Right. What was bad about the environment? Wait, there were escorts? I don't know. But Because if my, they were escorts, I think well, they would get like debarred. Well, if they were asking for money, they <laughs> you can't automatically do, become an escort. Well, not an escort actually, union. <laughs> Maybe there should be. That's what you think. Yeah, there's definitely an escort union. If there's an escort union, I'm sure I know the president. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm sure I know. Hey, fuck Park, President I, Button. I have cleaned my image, so fuck y'all. They did. And, and you said um on that, Instagram? I know that I'm going to hurt the people closest to me. So if you know you're going to hurt them, <laughs> am I the only one that, that absorbed this this way? Mm, if yeah, you know you you're going to hurt them, Kevin. I don't think this helped at all. Who I've talked to and apologized to, being my wife and my kids. Um, and I just, you know, it's, it's a shitty moment. No, shitty we don't moment know. When you, when you know you're wrong and there's no excuses yeah. for your wrong behavior. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, man. Oh, wait a minute. 
At the end of the day? I hate at, at the, the end of the day. day. I love at the end of the day. <laughs> at the end of the day is a good time. At the end of the yeah. day is trash. You got to be a <laughs> master of user day. of at the end of the day for it to be acceptable. Have you me. ever passed the essay that you ended with at the end of the day? Because that's my thing in, about in, at the, the end of the day. That's the conclusion of at, a yeah. bad uh, SAT essay. Not to me. <laughs> to me, at the end of the day is either somebody stupid or wrong. That's my experience with anybody who has ever said, yo, at the end of the day, they was either really stupid mm. or really wrong. Could've, I've never heard anybody just casually explain their weekend plans with at the end of the day. <laughs> so, boom, I fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, there <laughs> we go. There we go. I just simply got to do better. No shit. <laughs> I just, I just, he owe it to Blue, man. No shit, Kevin. But I'm not going to also allow a person to to have financial gain off of my mistakes. And in this particular situation... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah, yeah. no. That was the move. We got to put it on her for trying to gain from uh, this bad situation. You missed that point. Yo, We're ending with it being her fault. Me off me. Now let's talk about the girl. I'm the victim again. Yes. You're right, right. Gain off of my mistakes. And in this particular situation, I'm not going to also allow a person to... I'm not going to allow them to do that. To do that. Like, I'm still, are y'all watching I'm, what this girl is trying to do I'm, to me? I am still living in my <laughs> arrogance. Is she crazy? <laughs> Wait, does she know who I am? I am still arrogant. I will not allow this. I'm wrong and... Every way I could the, be wrong. The day but has let me ended. tell you what I will not allow. The day has ended and she's still trying to get money. The nerve. Financial gain off of my mistakes. And in this particular situation, that's what was attempted. That's what should be attempted. To my mistakes. As you should. <sighs> Sorry, Kev. I don't have nothing. Would you guys like me to tell y'all all of the wrong missteps and miscalculations that are here. I mean, just post Honestly, on Instagram. I would love to. to I would love to hear how your brain dissects this. Okay, Kevin Hart has done ev every. And listen, I'm I'm not a cheater. I don't know much about this, so pardon me if I'm just talking out of my ass. Hey, baby, I love you, and I can't wait to see you later. Now. <laughs> Spoken like a true cheater. <laughs> Listen, fucking homeboy, right? My point, Maul, is I think that Kevin Hart is funny. I think that Kevin Hart is cool. Kevin Hart is a great guy. I don't even think that this should be an indictment on who he is as a person. I still think that he's a great guy, right? But boy, you can't get any dumber or arroganter in cheating. I think that every possible thing that men know to avoid he didn't. <laughs> yeah. I think that every everything that could possibly go wrong in Cheatville did. <laughs> yeah. Everything about what was his plan? That's what I'm at. What was the plan? You asked me if I think that he's cheated before. Yes, I think he cheated before. Yes, I think he has side chicks. Yes, I think that she maybe has caught him a few times. But that don't change shit. He should know better than some of these things. No. I you're agree. fucking wife's birthday weekend mall yeah that was crazy every nigga with a brain knows if there's one weekend you can't cheat god damn it it's her birthday weekend i might be over that's over valentine's day yes yeah, over yeah. christmas yeah. over new year's Arbor, over easter Arbor niggas will go to church vegan. with their girl on yeah. easter and be with a side chick by nighttime in the same suit 100 <laughs> percent and tell a side chick to wear her little Easter outfit. So, so, yeah. We're going to get night mask. <laughs> they all get dressed to go to fucking Papacitos and shit. <laughs> shit, that should be kind of lit on Easter. You love Papacitos on Easter. Wait, Tight. one of them little Dykeman spots do be lit on Easter. A Vern told me. <laughs> Vern is of, there. Now. A lot of Catholics up there. Um, Back to this, though. Back to this, though. Your birthday weekend? No. Mm -hmm. I agree. And let me tell you what's funny. On some Snapchat, uh, his wife was with him in Vegas during the weekend. Mm -hmm. And Sin, Sin thought that was weird because they were out <laughs> at like a spot, like a club. Mm -hmm. And Sin being pregnant couldn't understand how she was eight months pregnant and in Vegas at a club when she could pop any second. I paid it absolutely no mind. But looking back now in, in hindsight... I think that she had some she she had some suspicions. 
Wait, Kevin Hart's wife was at a club? She was with him in Vegas, like, uh, however many weeks ago this was. Uh, it was on Snapchat. And she's eight months pregnant. But they weren't in a club. I don't know where it was, but it was somewhere. Do where they let she... pregnant women in the club? Uh, I, don't, I, don't I mean, I guess if you... Kevin Hart has his wife with him, I mean, I guess it's a, an you exception. You let a pregnant girl in the club. It's only she's not drinking, I guess. No, but I, I thought that they didn't I mean, I personally I don't, don't think. I don't yeah, yeah. I don't even think they allow pregnant women. But the club. the point <clears throat> the point was that it looked it was a lot. It looked to be a lot for somebody pregnant. But mm-hmm. now that you look back on it, she's a woman. I'm one hundred percent think that she had some suspicions. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that. I'm here for the jokes. So let me see here. Before I go any deeper here into my Kevin Hart dive, I really just wanted to get into this voice note some more. Right? A voice note. I mean the fucking the apology. Okay. So let's see. Um, I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target on my back, and because of that, I should make smart decisions. And recently, I didn't. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape, or form. And I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen, and they did. And in doing that, I know that I'm going to hurt the people closest to me, nothing, who I've man. talked to and apologized to, being my wife and my kids. Um, and I just, you know, it's, it's a shitty moment. It's a <laughs> shitty moment when you when you know you're wrong, and there's no excuses for your wrong behavior. Um, at the end of the day, man, I just simply got to do better. But I'm not going to also allow a person to to have financial gain off of my mistakes. And in this particular situation, that's what was attempted. I said I'd rather fess up to my mistakes. Nah, not done with that one. I got at least 90 different records (laughs) to put behind Kevin Hart. And this shit is 100% labeled Kevin Hart single. (laughs) <laughs> in, in my iTunes, this was his rollout, and the name of the album is literally. This is a ro- I'm telling you, it's a rollout. Kevin Speaking Hart's of single, the rollout, literally. do you think this will become a bit? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. This so will one hundred percent become a bit. This has to become a bit. Um, I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target on my back, and because of that, I should make smart decisions. And recently, I did. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape, or form. And hey. I made a bad error in judgment and put them. myself in an environment where only bad things can happen, and they did. And in doing that, I know that I'm going to hurt the people closest to me, who I've talked to and apologized to, being my wife and my kids. Um, hurts and so I just, bad, you know, it's, it's hey. a shitty moment. It hurts it's a so shitty bad. moment when you, hey. when you know you're wrong. And there's no excuses for you. Um, at the end of the day, man, I just simply got to do better. It could all be but so I'm not so going to also allow a person to to have financial gain off of my mistakes. And in this particular situation, Side bitch was trying to make that's it what was attempted. I said I'd rather fess up Free to my yourself, mistake. Free yourself, Kev. Um, Free yourself. I'm at a place in my life. Um, <laughs> I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target on my back. Um, that arm is crazy. I'm at a place in my life where. I feel like I have a target on my back. And because of that, I should make smart decisions. He lied! And recently, <laughs> I did. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape, or form. And I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen, and they did. And in doing that, I know that I'm going to hurt the people closest to me, uh, who I've talked no to and apologized to, no being my wife and my kids. Um, and I, I just, promise, you know, it's, it's a shitty moment. It's Damn, a shitty Kev. moment when you, when you know you're Holy wrong. Shit. And there's no excuses for your wrong behavior. Um, at the end of the day, man, oh. I just simply got to do better. But I'm not going to also allow a person to, oh. to have financial gain off of my mistakes. And in this particular situation, that's what was attempted. I said, um, <laughs> I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target. Oh, I don't back. care. Bring it back. And Neither. I don't because care. Of that, I should make smart Money decisions. replay. Mo and fire. recently, <laughs> buck, buck, I did. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and 
say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape, or form. And I made a bad error in judgment to put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen, and they did. And in doing that, I know that I'm going to hurt the people closest to me, who I've talked to and apologized to, being my wife and my kids. Um, and I just, you know, it's, it's a shitty moment. It's a shitty moment when you... When you know you're wrong and there's no excuses for your wrong behavior. Um, at the end of the day, man, I just simply got to do better. But I'm not going to also allow a person to to have financial gain off of my mistakes. That's right, and in this right. particular situation, that's what was attempted. And I said I'd rather fess up to my mistakes. Talk to him, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> this was part of Amani's rollout. Yo, E-Body just roll out. <laughs> By the way, Amani Project out right now, uh, September 18th, and it came out September 18th. See what he did there. I'm going to play this song later. Oh, yeah. Slow down. I'm going to get back to that. Uh, it's a phenomenal record. Birthday weekends. No. You shouldn't cheat then. Pregnancy. Sorry, bad time to cheat. That's a nine-month vacation for you, too. <laughs> like, she can't smoke and drink, you can't cheat. Mm -hmm. Didn't I just say to somebody, though, when was it? Don't look at me. That that is like, <laughs> no, no, because that's a nightmare of a headline. Yeah. yeah. I told Sin, I want to see the person that makes me accept that headline. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Maul is amazing, man. <laughs> Fucking Maul. Anyway, when you're pregnant, no, uh, sorry, that's a bad time to do it. When you're about to deliver, uh, and she's about to pop. So about now, the, the night she's delivering, probably not good. Yeah, idea. so now she's at the doctor. <laughs> you got to be a different type of animal. <laughs> Son, the night your wife she's is in labor. I don't even care if she's your baby mother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah. I don't care but, if you don't even. Talk to her. Right, that's crazy. The night she's delivering is insane. Yeah, that's nuts, man. <laughs> but but listen. So now and they that now there's clips out. There's clips out. She she's at the doctor and paparazzi is there. That's another reason I'm not going to L. A. Because who is selling TMZ? Who 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 is it that works at the doctor's office that is selling TMZ the time that she's going to be there? In LA. So now I'm coming to the doctor. To, to try to uh, check on my fucking kid inside of me, and you're gonna just sit at the doctor's office? Really? That that's the amount of coof you have? Yeah, See, I would kill one of them niggas. Yeah, yeah. I would kill one of you them. You wouldn't be wrong either. Don't play with me like that. Yeah, you wouldn't be wrong. Hey, are they, hey, Onik, where's Kevin? Huh? <laughs> hey, how do you feel about him cheating? Yeah, I know. Play. Go ahead and play. Go ahead and play. Everything was wrong about it. I just want to know what The Rock thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that! What does Tyrese think? The word. I'm waiting for his his oh, his statement. Tyre Tyrese gonna body these niggas. We got Ja Rule on the phone. <laughs> Let's see what Ja's thoughts what does are. Ja think on this tragedy. Ja, Who the fuck ja would, would Ja Rule going to the time like this, nigga? This is ridiculous. Ja I want to dance. Never. I'm scared to death. <laughs> Poor Ja. Did y'all say we y'all rank Ja? I don't think so. Yeah, y'all did. Top twenty. He was high. He was out because then we'll start talking about all these albums. Listen, how does he fix it? He makes a bit about it that we all laugh at. He and, is going to make makes, a bit. His next stand up got to be a classic. Yeah. This is part of the rollout of his next yeah. stand up. I don't it know why y'all keep classic. confusing I, I shit. I do think he can come out of this even. This bigger. is his lemonade Pause. to yeah. his 444. Yeah. All right. Somebody tweeted that uh, <laughs> this is his 544, <laughs> 54, whatever the fucking time is, but it was pretty funny. Um, what else is there to talk about with him? With Kev? I don't know if there's much left after that. We, we said, well, y'all said y'all don't think the wife is leaving. So we got to that. <clears throat> no, I don't. We got to him easily being the worst cheater in the universe. Speaking mm, of the universe. I think there's been worse, but he's definitely up there. He's pretty high. He's Tiger would still take the cake for having all them white girls leave voice voicemails. No, ti Tiger <laughs> is the worst. Tiger's the worst for going on their voicemails and saying, hey, this is Tiger. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who even leaves voicemails? <laughs> anyway, who hey, leaves voicemails? And, hey, this was Tiger. And who leaves their name on a right, voicemail? Right. Tiger Woods. I'm a golf player. We had sex. This is my address. <laughs> Word. 
And here's my wife's number. <laughs> I haven't a voicemail in I'm, I'm asking you to not tell my wife I cheated. Like, he was wilding on that. Yeah, he is one of the worst cheaters. Uh, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Uh, Kevin Hart. I forgot my point I was making because we started making jokes again. I think we were wrapping up, Kev. I don't know if there was much left. I think Kev wrapped himself up. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you did hopefully wrap you up. Did, hey. Yeah. No. All right. Oh, so that was the other thing, Maul. The nigga gets out the bed. He walks around the room. Oh, you watched the, the video? Yeah. Oh, okay. I saw the video, too. He gets out the bed. Of course. I didn't see the video. I didn't even uh, We know, Maul. We know you didn't see anything. Yeah, I didn't see the video. But he gets out the bed, right? Mm-hmm. He does the uh, naked walk around the room that all of us do as men mm-hmm. when we yep. just finish bodying some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's purely for ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, not even, you're not doing nothing. Yeah, not, you're just walking around. It's a victory lap. Man. Yeah, you, yeah. S- you see me walking. <laughs> you, then do a double not. take. You Make still sure laying she's down. still laying in the bed. Word. Yeah, 100%. But so he did that, right? And then Shorty got a FaceTime call. Mm-hmm. And then he took the phone and started talking to the person on the FaceTime call, which was a woman. He started saying things like, hey, how was your trip? Oh, yeah, so that, he knows her friends. This is his joint. Yeah. yeah. This is his joint. Yeah, for sure. Why the hell? Who the... F- Wait, he didn't even go wash his dick in the sink? Not yet. <laughs> well, he was definitely on his way to the shower or something. Oh, okay. But that's not the point. Right. Not only are you cheating on your pregnant <laughs> wife on her birthday weekend. You kick in yeah. with your, the side bitch's friends. You're now friends with her friends. <laughs> yeah, no, that's wild. Oh, that's if your wife wild. finds out that <laughs> you are friends with her friends, that's when women pull out all that extra shit to make you feel guilty about. You know what? It's not even so much the sex. Mm-hmm. You confide with that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you trust. You got your it's like a relationship. That's, That's what they say. Treating yeah. your side like your main. That's what I'm That's saying. That's what they say. Yeah. That shit is crazy. Or is it gentleman like? <clears throat> no, nah, you can't be a gentleman while you're cheating. Uh, if you're married you with a pregnant wife, there's no time to be a gentleman while you're cheating. I'm sorry. Okay. When shit's yes, fucked, get out. All right, Mo. No, nah, that's not true. Hypothetically, that's the, not true. The shit Mo, you're not realistic. That's not even true. What you mean? After you fuck, get out. I just made 90 million last year. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. No, Mo. Nah, no. Gonna I'm going to ask. Saying. Mo, <laughs> niggas got the game for, for regular shit, not even if I have $100 million for her to ask for. Say shit hit the fan and I have to be nice to her so she don't snitch. What's going to hit I the fan? I can't be like, get the fuck. She ready to speak. Like, oh, yeah, I mean, I'm about that's to. I got to talk. Whether you a gentleman so, or not. Obviously, Kevin's a gentleman right, and so, it still hit so the fan. So you should treat her like shit so she run to your girl? Treat her like a side. You know what this is. We're having I'm sex and about, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm talking about when that's over and she said, I'm about to snitch. That's not realistic. You're not going to be nice to her to try to talk her out of this shit? More, no. more. The oh, side right. chick is it, the it most powerful. Work. Is the most powerful person in your relationship. No, she's not. See, that's the, that's the problem. That mentality. No, she is not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. How not? Because she's not. I'm the most powerful person in my relationship. No, you're not. Okay. All right. You keep thinking that. No, I'm the want, side chick I'm has want... no power without me. The side chick has but no you power. You already no, no, did no, the no, act no, that no, gave no, her the power. No, no, I agree. What are you talking about no, Mo. That's not what I'm saying. <clears throat> I agree with you, but. In, in the scenario we're talking about, you have inserted yourself there. That's why there's a side chick. Literally and figuratively. Yeah, but she doesn't have more power than Kevin. Yes, if you want her to keep a secret. Mm. Nah, it's, not, it's not about that, man. See, that's the problem. She, that's the empower- Explain it. Teach, even, teach even, us. Even thinking that a side chick has the power, is that mentality is crazy to me. Explain she doesn't it. Have, the side chick has no power without the male, without the dude that she's fucking. She yeah, but no you power. already fucked. But yeah, you're so fucking now you fucked. her, more. You passed the power yeah. off. The, the power happens when you start getting cool with her friends, being on FaceTime, spending all this, being a gentleman. This gentleman shit that y'all speak of, that's where the problem comes in at. That's not true. Keep her in her place. No, Yo, we I agree, just I agree fucking. that that's a problem. That's it. I'm I don't want to know your friends. Past, once we're past that problem. You can't say, bitch, get out of my crib. I just fucked. Yeah. Don't no, call no, I'm me. Not saying, like, bitch, it's not going to work. She's going to leave. She's going to feel away. I'm leaving. Tell your girl. I'm leaving. We're fucking at a hotel Listen. or something. I'm at your however, and I'm out. Listen, I'm to not this. laying up on Facetime with your crew. I the hate fuck that's, out of that's here. also that's I, really insane. I hate to address <laughs> the elephant in the room. That's a lie. I love addressing the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't even lie. Right? You are the elephant. I'm in the room. 100. I'm the elephant. That's true. Listen to this. Uh, and I know that a lot. Of, I know that people don't want to hear this, but this is just real, real shit. We're in a place where, and we've been in a place, but people just don't like to accept it. You have to have trust established in your, in all your relationships, mm-hmm. side chicks included. Mm-hmm. We're not in a space where 
And this is what Kevin, allu- not alluded to, what he said on the Breakfast Club interview, which is interesting that he got caught up this way. Uh, he said on the Breakfast Club, I've outgrown cheating because I don't, I'm too paranoid. I, don't tr- I have to trust you to cheat. How do I know you're not pulling out your phone? How do I know you're not taping and recording me? How do I know your intentions? He said all of that. So mm-hmm. for, him to, for this to happen this way, you do need to have some trust, de- to, uh, a trust system developed between you and your side chick. You do. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, Sorry, that does make her pretty powerful. If you have a side chick that you don't rock with, and women, I know that y'all don't want to hear this, they are out there. The side chicks that niggas rock with. (laughs) The side chicks that... Especially when you have bread like that. The side chicks that... that, that Hey, the side chicks that when you say, give me your phone, I'm a caller, the ones we want you to call, they going to hold it down. You're not going to get very much when you call them. They exist. But they wasn't that, these two chicks. Clearly. So no, wait, even on, though on, he on. was rocking with these chicks. I don't mean to interrupt you. I think they started out that way because he was kikiing with the friends. They've clearly had a long-term relationship on the side. Kev probably trusted them bitches. He clearly trusted he them. He definitely did. So he definitely they, trusted So he got gamed by a chick. She probably had a six-month plan on this shit. So, and when I agree with you, Rory. So my, what, I'm, what I've been saying is, that only happens when you are either naive or arrogant. Definitely some arrogance. When you cheat shit. and you fall asleep with the girl. I don't think it's naive. Kev been in this business long That's enough to point. not be naive. I don't, I don't it's arrogance. I don't think he's naive either. Yeah. It's 100% arrogance. he's not fucking naive. This is what I don't like. And this is a money move. This is what niggas with money do. <laughs> I'm not calling the feds when I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. I will, I'll, I'm, I'm, ne- I'm never going to respect it. I'm not going to respect you involving the police because you cheated on your pregnant wife on her birthday weekend. Yeah. This is a Fed case. There's a federal investigation going on. Shit. That's how if you I know. Can, you know how much money you got to If I can get that video in my possession and I got the bread, I might call the feds, bro. Might do that. No, I'm not calling the feds. Right, keep keep your up, keep your street code. You trying to set him up? <laughs> <laughs> she got that shit, and I got an NDA or something. I'm calling the feds. Ice is so lucky. I love him. I would definitely tell the story of him letting the police and and walking them to my bedroom for them to arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> you just did, told you them. I was, <laughs> no, no, I didn't tell the story, but. Yeah, I'm not telling the story. <laughs> <laughs> I got a warrant in New Jersey for not letting the cops in your fucking house. Are you going to tell them about the cops pulling us over last uh, week after the podcast? Know, I'm, I'm traumatized. Shout out to the police that pulled us over last week. The no, plane, not the plane shout calls. out to what the police. What do you mean, police. not shout out? Yes, shout out to the police. They fucking let us go. Yeah, y'all ain't just oh, so shout we, out. We weren't the legitest. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Fuck, is he talking about not shout out? Yes, shout out. Uh, that's one. Two, in closing with this Kevin Hart shit, what I will say is, Kevin Hart's wife and Kevin Hart's ex-wife have been back and forth at each other for quite some time about the inception of Kevin Hart's current relationship, right? Yeah. So it was just two weeks ago that that beef was prominent and Kevin Hart's current wife was on Snapchat, Snapchatting her hand on the steering wheel of her expensive vehicle, highlighting her wedding ring. That's what was happening. That's what women do, though. Stop. Right? Did, she, wait, Stop. did she put the Stop. camera back and move her head to put whatever type of car in the headrest? No, rest? she didn't do okay. that. The focus was the ring. I only bring it up to say the universe works one way. You put it out there, it's coming back to you. Hmm. So you were showboating your wedding ring, very proud of your trophy husband that you won. Accept your prize. Accept it. It's yours. He is yours. Don't leave now. Don't leave. Work through it. That's your nigga. Yo, but see, hey, that's the other thing. That's the other thing. And I swore I was closing this. These types of situations always present a very interesting crossroads for women where they have to stare at themselves in the mirror. When the man that you love... Your successful man that you love. Your man that you love 
and are proud of. This is not someone who you ever thought about leaving. When he puts the egg on your face, we know what the girls in your group chat are saying. Most women don't have really smart women friends to coach them through these types of situations. That's the scariest part of these types of situations. I'm not, I don't is listen. Is that her friends are helping her make these decisions. Oh my God, That's women. That's the scariest women thing in the entire world. never life. listen to your friends in times of turmoil with your significant other. Oh my God, that's the worst thing in the world to do. All your single friends. Why do women even do that? Yo, it was a rule of mine not too long ago, right? That, this is how important I think that rule is. I stopped dating chicks that didn't have women in their lives like the good, good friend. Y'all know, like, I'm like that friend. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it. I'm going to talk to y'all. That friend. I don't even want to see a woman that don't have that friend. There's going to be a time where, where you're in doubt. Women live in their brains. There are, there's going to be a time. That's also why I preach it's very important to know your significant other. There's going to be a time where the way shit look is crazy. It's going to be a time where you don't believe the shit that I am saying. All of that's going to occur. I'm going to need you to call the good, good friend. <laughs> She's going to have to tell you how real of a nigga I am. And she got to talk you off that ledge. I forgot what my point even was. <laughs> I just was off on a tangent here. The good, good friend? Yeah, but when about? women don't have the good, good friend, they go to the only guy in their life which is typically a guy that wants to fuck them oh, to begin with, man. and then takes the advice from him. Pandora's box. <laughs> I just... <laughs> That's typically, if they don't have the good friend, and they're somewhat of a logical woman, and um, here's the misogynistic part of this podcast, as logical as women can be, they're going to go to the guy friend and be like, all right, well, let me get the man's perspective. And it's probably a guy that's trying to fuck and Which, be waiting for you to fuck up. Yeah. Spoiler and- alert. <laughs> they this all is it. This is exactly what Brooke Valentine is doing on Love & Hip Hop. To uh, Marcus with Booby. Joe, you still watch Love and Hip Hop? <laughs> Those names are just crazy. Know, <laughs> Joe is invested in Love and Hip Hop. He's watching Marcus and Booby? <laughs> <laughs> Joe is crazy. Mo, you don't watch Love and Hip Hop? No. Do you watch TV? Yeah. Do you have a TV? Yes. Okay. Do you have a TV? <laughs> when is the last That's time mean. you watched Love and Hip Hop? When you were on it? How you don't watch it and you were uh, your alumni? <laughs> Yo, don't do that. Nah, he don't visited the campus. He's not an alumni. Oh, no, do he was on more than one episode of. He Love visited the campus. I don't. I'm not, Whoa, I'm not one alumni. episode. He, he went to a different school. Name, though, yeah, no, did, did no, I can't ball? be alumni. With mall my underscore my underscore 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 <laughs> underscore they underscore were. underscore. They did put mall. <laughs> no, they did not. <laughs> Fuck out of here. No, they did. No, they did not. You're lying. In the episodes you were there, my name was never on the screen of Love and Hip Hop. In my story, it was. When in real life, it wasn't. But you were on more than one episode. Maybe two. You were on more than two episodes. We could definitely I've rip seen that them. from YouTube. I've seen them. Chris put two all underscore. Most. You were in the, the Harlem screen. episode. You were the episode with Harlem. Okay. One. That was your star debut. That episode one where you had to talk Rocky off the ledge outside and I was <laughs> way, mollied up. That was, that was Maul's reasonable doubt. That was his debut. Oh, no, that was, yes. not my, that was not my reasonable doubt, bro. No, that was not my reasonable doubt. How do we know? What do you mean, how do you? I think that was my reasonable doubt. What the fuck you talking about? How you? That's not for you to decide. <laughs> it is for me to decide, nigga. Fuck out of here. That's, that's that, us to call. Was that your reasonable doubt? No, sorry. You were on a few of those episodes. But uh, I didn't even want to talk about that. But yeah, that's what Brooke Valentine is doing. I don't know who Brooke Valentine is. Thanks for the update, you, you do know who Brooke See, I hate when Rory act like, now you don't know who Brooke Valentine is. And now you're not waiting was... for a lyricist to challenge the venomous pen of Killer Mike. You didn't, you didn't, tweet... <laughs> Joe, you didn't tweet the same thing about JC uh, with Battle Rap like three days later? Oh, I hope no one comes near JC in the URL and his vicious pen. You didn't tweet the same thing, bro? Uh, I did. <laughs> yeah, that's what the fuck I, I did. thought. JC a kill killer, Mike. You wilder. Of course I'm joking, idiot. <laughs> but <laughs> you are but I think it's okay to say that in the battle rap field where niggas challenge each other for a living. Right. You were I was asking. you were making up a hypothetical battle with yeah, fucking I, I wish someone run did. the jewels and someone else. I wish someone would, would or run. Killer Mike. Which one is Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was at Meadows and they opened for Hove, and I was sitting next to Cam, 
<laughs> and they were doing whatever their little symbol is where they do this bullshit. Yeah. I was like, all right, so which one yeah. is Mike? <laughs> is Mike Run or is Mike the Jewels? <laughs> or is he the? Mike is not the. No, the DJ is <laughs> Mike the. is too dope to be the. The is trash. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about the Meadows. Uh, the Meadows. <laughs> Tell me more about the Meadows. <laughs> you, you, saw, you saw Nas or no? No, I was I was too hungover from Saturday to go to Damn. go to Nas. How you from Queens and you don't see Nas? Uh, you yeah. fake. I, I, mind you, and it was in Queens. <laughs> yeah, you, you are so phony. I'm a Jersey resident now, man. That's far. Uh, no, I only really saw Hove. I want to see Red Hot Chili Peppers after Nas. Too. Was Maul there? No, Maul was uh, definitely there. No, but I ran into some Rockefeller associates. But well, that's neither here nor there. We'll keep was that Lenny up there? Lenny was there, and I blamed him for everything. Okay. <laughs> Tell Lenny, did you tell Lenny I said what's up? No, no. we agreed to, to fuck Joe Button. Oh. Yeah. Man, that sounds about right. <laughs> was at the bar and, you know, solid. I agree, I agree with you, B. Yeah. I don't fuck with Joe neither. Yeah, solid. Nobody fucks with Joe. And Joe, Joe, after I've made myself so easy to love. <laughs> have you made yourself easy to love? Uh, That's a I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have. You love me. Right? Yeah. The fuck out of here then. I mean, but <laughs> fuck I mean, I'm talking about? about other people. I don't know if you still that means you made yourself easy to love. I like my rebrand. My rebrand. First of all, <laughs> talk to me like a no. brand. <laughs> fuck out of here. Which is so crazy. Cause we all my knew him re-brand. before the rebrand and don't give two shits about the rebrand. I like right. my rebrand. Right. I hate what look I just said rebrand. <laughs> what a loser. And, I, and I'm the hipster. Um I'm not a hipster. You can't even fucking win Fam, that, win that on, fight. Don't even, don't even, you work for complex and wear vans. Come on. I'm wearing my hipster pants. <laughs> Are those the ones you paid fifteen uh, hundred dollars for? One of them. Talk your shit. That's humble brag. <laughs> Yet you wear I it like with a pants. dirty wife beater. I would also. <laughs> That's what, <laughs> you know what the fuck is Rory talking dollars. about? All my okay, pants don't cost you a $1,500. Five. This is a, oh, a dap. Yeah, my bad, my bad, God my bad. damn it. Fuck. This is a dap. <laughs> I'm not dapping over $1,500 pants. This is a dap. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. High five something. <laughs> a pound. There was a dap. Okay, we got it. Joe. All right, so you don't have any more shit to give us from the Meadows? No, nah, I don't. I don't at all. I was all there right. for two hours. All right. I was we, there to support Raven, who was invited by Hove to shoot in the pit. We was there, I was there to support oh, my friend. Rory, such a gr- yo, Rory. <laughs> yo, Rory, man. Talk about it. I'm telling you, I'm going to pull up now. the fucking people's court theme. Do it. Oh, wait a minute. Do it. Wait I'll always minute. defend my friends. Oh, shit. And Hype Beast, my friends. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm mad. Nas posted the, the fucking clip of him and Nikki in front of the old school <laughs> Benz. <laughs> Me and my homeboy was just talking about getting the old school BMWs, the 88 BMWs, man. So now I can't, I can't, I don't feel like I could do it because now I look like I'm biting off a Nas. I can't do it. I'm going to do that shit though. I don't care. Yeah. I'm going to bite Nas. It was dope though. I'll, I'll follow the trend. Yeah. That, that was cool. fly. I, I like old I, school Beamers more than I old think school Benz. you can still anyways. do it. Nah. Remember when Puff took all the doors off the off the Jeep? Yeah, and everybody ran with that, but they- they It was still fly when they did it. Yeah, right. but they equated it to Puff though. I don't want to be like, yo, you got that from Nas? No. I don't want that. They say Nas got it from Hove. They were saying from the uh, oh the picture that but yeah, that yeah. no that was Jay actually in, in that time I, yeah, I was like, gonna, that, hey, no. in London yeah, yeah like, no. you know that it's not gonna stop the people from saying that <laughs> no. I don't know I don't know it's still a good idea though shout out to him that's how men stunt on their birthday they can't do what women do on their birthday they gotta go buy an old car and take a picture in front of it instead of a bunch of <laughs> bottles and their friends is it just that's, that's how we that's the only way we could celebrate our birthday on social media. <laughs> Is get an old ass car that looks amazing and put Nikki in the front seat without being corny on your birthday First on social of all, media. Any nigga that celebrates his birthday on cor- social media is corny. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You can't do it. There is no cool way to do it. I thought the old school Benz was cool. It was cool because the Benz was cool and Nas is <laughs> and cool Nas is and cool. Nikki is cool and it was a cool pick. Yeah, it, it was cool. cool. It was cool. The car is hard. The car is hard. Yeah, yeah. The Benz was dope. Yeah, the car is hard. Old Benz um, are hard. The Emmys, I want to shout out Donald Glover again. I feel like I feel like every year now for the past however many years. I told y'all the, he was a genius. Did that you guy. tell Yo, us that? that guy? <laughs> Joe, oh my Joe know I've been saying that God. years ago. If he I know, know that, it, I'm I put not, him on the If I know it, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not admitting to it. Okay, I'm yeah, going you with admitted that. to it. Are you that guy? I am that guy. He told Why? Me. I told did. you. Because he told you. I told you he was a genius. I said, yo, this kid is a genius. I'm an admitted uh, Childish Gambino fan from because of the internet, so I I think I'm late 
to the party from the cool standard, but I thought he was genius from because of the internet. Then I saw a stand up and all this shit he don't park uh, or whatever TV. But show congrats was. to him, man. That's that's major. Atlanta is phenomenal. Major. Like, it's one of the that's better TV shit. shows yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah, he yeah. has a part in his afro. That's I mean, just phenomenal within <laughs> itself. Anybody that parts their afro is dope to me. Bro, I, I will I, say he. I hit you back. <laughs> Jesus Yo, Christ this more guy, more, more, uh, more. He definitely Donald Glover definitely had Yeah uh, man Fuck is up though Oh my god Is yeah. this how we doing our no. podcast? Oh, fuck out of here Trev We hit Yo, you back I'm gonna hit you back Yo Fuck ass Trev Is Trev still on Rockets? Yep I thought Trev was coming to the Knicks he fuck, thought Nobody's so. coming to the Knicks Jared Jack's on the Knicks that's major. I'm like excited that. about it. I like that. I am excited about so it. I think he'll be starting. Before starved. we hop into sports, oh. we, do have to note, <laughs> we do have to note that hip-hop was at the edge of their fucking seats when Donald Glover went up to do that acceptance speech. Because the last time he did that shit, he moved bad and bougie up to number one on the fucking Billboard charts because right. of an acceptance speech. Right. Yeah. Hip-hop was sitting there going, all right, which record is he about to, <laughs> to bring with him? Well, now he is, uh, he's teasing a project with him and Chance. He's been teasing that for Yo, you know what, five man? Years. All right. This is when I just fold right into old bitter angry mode. <laughs> I might as well make a fucking a fucking sound effect or something. I'm sick of the joint projects, man. Well, we don't get a lot of them. Uh, we, don't get, we don't get any of them. I'm sick of the talk <laughs> of fucking <laughs> joint projects. I'm with you on that. <clears throat> Come on, dogs. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Enough ain't enough. Drop it. I'm ag- I agree with that. I better agree. Enough is enough. Put the shit out. So, 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 uh, Glover's talking about him and Chance. Mm-hmm. Travis is talking about him and Quavo. Sway Lee also said he was working on a joint project with somebody, but my memory fails me at the moment. Doug, maybe. I'm, <clears throat> I'm not part of that world. Doug is know. another nigga that said he had a project coming with somebody. I Cole, see a whole Cole bunch of Kendrick pictures of him and fucking Future forever. in the studio together. Cole and Kendrick have been teasing since 06. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's seriously. Like yeah. 07 type yeah, shit. Yeah, Pump It Up was out. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm sick of it. Enough is a fuck enough. We never get the project. All we ever get is Big Sean and Janae. <laughs> that Which is, is the, a great project. That is the, the, oh, here come Maul massaging his fucking <laughs> that, re- political relationships. I don't know Janae or Big Sean. I'm saying that was a great project. I couldn't really get into it personally. I, I think that's, that project was dope. Yeah, but I think it was good. It was just too like it felt like too no, it's too young. It was too young. It was cool. It was cool. But out of all the joint projects fam, we could have got, that's the one we landed on. No, he just Joe named Maul, it. So like, Maul, I Parks, it. and Rory. Everyone simmer down. We are not about to critique <laughs> Janae and Big Sean's projects on this podcast. I like it. You're their height. I like it. That's why you like it. I still like know them niggas. Still like it. Party's dropping a lot of music. Tell us, Maul. You're the party plug. What? What's up with all this music he's dropping? The party plug. He's dropping music. He said he would, and he's he's living up to what he said. Is he dissing Kalani in this new song? Did you hear it? No, I didn't hear it. All right. Well, when he starts talking about a girl in the ambulance. I, don't know, I think he's over. I don't, I, don't, I don't think he's still doing that. I think he's past that Kalani thing. Well, he's who, an R&B singer. Well, who's the other girl in the ambulance then that he was there for when she was in the hospital and suicidal that she was on him? <laughs> I'm just telling you what Wait, he's... Wait, this is a, on a new record he's who's, saying this? Whose yeah. name is Kalani? Oh, Kalani. that sounds today. like Kalani. Then. He said that in a song today. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, sounds like yesterday. Kalani then. Yeah. yeah, he said it was Kalani. <laughs> yeah, her, he? name, her name was Kalani. I mean, yeah, it was spelled that way. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Nigga, I'm joking. What you it asking? No, 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 no. Kalani's joking, interlude oh. part two. Yo, wait, so you know what's funny about that? On the fucking show, on on, uh, on the show on Complex, they start talking about the party shit. Of course, I love party. Party's a friend of the show. So I'm like, eh, how do we know that Kalani's the only suicidal girl that party knows, right? <clears> so then I go on Instagram to read my comments because I love reading comments on Instagram, right? And Kalani's in the comments. Oh my God, I love your family. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> God damn it, yo. Would you just shut up sometimes? All right. But I like Kalani. Yeah, she does. Kalani do. is very dope. I do like and Kalani. Very Party, leave Kalani alone. I didn't say that on, on my show because I'm the last nigga to tell somebody else to not make a song about their ex. Yeah, you yeah I don't know where you would stand person. on that. I support that shit. I think niggas that don't rap should do it. <laughs> I 100% think that Rory should throw a song out about his ex. Are you kidding you me? Help me go Tell me you wouldn't. Shit? No. I want to hear it from your perspective. Oh, on a Henny night? Rory rapping? On a Henny, on a Henny, Henny Rory? I got some bars. I think everybody should have a Hoodie Mellow alias, by the way. And Henny Rory. Henny Rory in his living room. Do y'all see the gay shit in Rory's living room where he has the evolution of music? No, I didn't see that. Didn't Rory's see a hip- that. Tell us, Rory. Come on. 
because then I want to finish my statement. This don't have nothing to do with nothing. Well, I, I've been listening to music for quite some time. Are we getting oh, the jokes God. off? Cult, yeah. I have records. I have cassettes. No, I'm talking about I have, the, yeah, the, no. the, yeah. Yeah, so I, I have a sound bar. I think it's dope, it. but I'm cracking on it. Yeah, no, I have, I have a nice sound bar for my laptop, my Bluetooth, regular shit. I have a cassette player for my cassettes, and I have a record player for my records. Uh-huh. But, they're, but, but all of that's fine that he has those things, but sure. they're on display. They're set up nice. Well, where would, yeah, uh, organization. Where, so where so, when, so when he does his Insta snaps, uh, I see them all. Wait, does he Insta snap the cassette player? Yes. No, it just happens to be in the room. First of all, I don't trust anybody that says it just happens. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, yo, at the the end of the day, it's in the room. (laughs) It just fucking happens. At the end of the day. day. Wait, I I brought that up to talk about something. I I have no idea what you brought that up. That's oh, what you were we've going? been knew Rory was a fucking hipster. Oh, I thought yeah, that was just oh Henny topics. Rory, Henny Rory. Rory. So if Henny Rory is in his living room looking at the evolution of music, uh-huh. <laughs> he's rapping on a dark Sunday night. I'm I'm penning something. His ex is getting bars. <laughs> his get ex is getting bars. They get a few. If Maul is on the corner one night. <laughs> Wait, seriously? What if Maul is just in front of the bodega? You know what I mean, block, talking his, to the talking to the cats. Ex, his ex tucked a pack in a crack uh, and never gave it because back. Because Maul is the one that says he don't trust the bodega if there's not a cat laying on the bread. <clears throat> right? right? That, that's, that's absolutely you. classic so if, stand-up uh, bad yeah. boy shit. So if you standing on the corner and you glance at your fucking phone and Shorty just laughing all at. At this fucking Memphis Grizzly nigga jokes. <laughs> I see how y'all trying to paint me. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> wait, wait. Why am I on the corner at night in front of the bodega, mad at a nigga? T- First of all, <laughs> Maul knows it. Fam, for the past three episodes, they've been Picasso in my whole image that isn't true. So take some jokes, right. P. My bad, bro. You're Maul right. is right. definitely Jamal St. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He ain't ghost. Sorry. He's definitely the ghost oh, of weed. Man. I'm rolling with that. That's crazy. Um, oh, so I wanted to... Uh, of course, you guys didn't watch the Hip Hop Honors, because y'all don't give a fuck about I watched it. No, hip Hop or honoring Hip Hop. I watched it. Yeah, right. You did watch it? You yeah. don't. You just Regina Hall is hosting. I, anything Regina Hall is a part of, I support she it. She is bae. I love her. That seems so awkward to me. What? Regina Hall. Hey, hey, watch your mouth. And can I tell you that I never knew that that was Regina Hall? Who would you think she was? All right, wait. <laughs> you got her mixed up with Regina Nia King? Long or some You're shit? all going to laugh at me. Do you know who, who I check. thought Regina Hall was when I think Regina? The girl from uh, Boys in the Hood? Yes. Yeah. A lot of people make What is her name? Regina King. Nah, she got to remix her name. She has to change <laughs> her name from Regina? Or she got to snuff Regina Hall. Why? Because I think a lot of people make that mistake. <laughs> you probably do. Right. I think a lot of people make that mistake. Right. I think it's common. Uh, for everybody. This was great. Everybody at home right this now This was Pharrell. This, I agree. And acting like y'all don't see what's going on out there. Your body and Rory. You got to open your eyes. This is to anybody with white friends. Open your eyes. Killing parks. You what's have this? white friends. You keep I, saying oh, you don't see me. what's going on on television. <laughs> I try what to turn a blind to eye to you guys. <laughs> open your eyes. And if you look like I look. I don't. Then you know how we got Y'all here. look mad alike. But we're here. And we're we not don't leaving. even think Pharrell's black. <laughs> so what are we going to do? But I agree with him. Damn, that applause is trash. Else in this <laughs> like, it's like three niggas that clapped. The human condition is important. Don't think just because they coming at the African Americans and they coming at the Jewish community and they coming at the Hispanics. That are they, they coming at the Jewish community? Just because you look like them. They're using you. So for- Do y'all know Pharrell made y'all wear bape? Own up to it right now. I never wore bape. I don't so. know. I, I don't Rory know. owned bape. He on owned on bape. my mother's life, I've never had a bape cloth near me. Niggas love lying on their mother's life. <laughs> that, that means nothing to me. You know how many but, times niggas lie on their mother's life? But <laughs> if, if I were to pick between bape and supreme, I'm taking bape. Wait, what's wrong with you bape? He said bars to mom. <clears throat> bape over supreme? To me. What's wrong with bape? I don't think there's anything Bape. wrong with it. I've just never owned it. Everything's wrong with Bape. They got they got good hoodies, I think. And Bape is so trash. Bape was the if you had on Bape, you were the original hype. Wait, hold on. Joe, you never asked me to see if I had the plug for the Bape Adidas joints like six months ago? I don't even know what the Bape Adidas joints are. All right, lie to the podcast. All right. <laughs> have, just lie, have, just lie have, like shit. I have no problem <laughs> lying to the podcast. Yo, uh, so rest in peace, Bobby Heenan. Yeah. That yeah. was big. The brain. That was big. Westside and uh, Conway put out a, a 
I don't know if it's a tribute, but he's the artwork. He's so artwork. We'll, we'll, we'll call it. <laughs> and that shit is amazing. Yep. Alchemist uh, yeah. <laughs> produced that shit. Rory's great. definitely in Westside and Conway. Shit. This nigga I, gives I, me I roll all my shit. updates. And I like them. Rest in peace, Bobby Heenan. But uh, damn it. Oh, yeah, you don't say. Fucking, uh, oh, Maul. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> as, as our resident... OVO reporter, mm-hmm. Drake has a tattoo of Denzel Washington on his body now. Yeah. This is it if you haven't seen it. <clears throat> Let me show it to you. <clears throat> you have that saved in your phone? That's no. from uh, Mo Better I Blues, save right? podcast topics, Rory. It's called Stop production. Stop reacting. And, You're and reacting. Abuse. You're reacting. Just relax. <laughs> You're, reacting. You're reacting. Just relax. You're reacting. Mo, explain this to me. Uh, I don't know. I, Drake, Drake has a lot of questions. I don't know. I really want to ask him about his tattoo. Like, why does he get certain tattoos? I really, well, I honestly, not even having... Text him right now or face Not even being funny. I really want I know. to know. I feel like he would give you some PC shit. Like, some, you, all these people are legendary. They inspire me to be That's better That's definitely than what he's going to give you. Yeah. I don't think so. Nigga, what is he I've he never would, even he would seen... Do it, uh, if they don't inspire you, there's something wrong with you and your ambition. I've never even seen Denzel with a trumpet until I looked at Drake. <laughs> 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 you know, remember wait, that he has a trumpet? You don't remember that movie? Yeah, yeah but the matter. trumpet's on him. <laughs> <laughs> the trumpet oh, there's been on. mad Denzel movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think if he just had the, the tattoo without <laughs> the trumpet, because like, that could look like a lot of people without yeah, the trumpet. But how you think he told him to do not hit the trumpet too? <laughs> <laughs> Come you. on, man. It's Mo Better Blues. You got to have the trumpet. <laughs> Yo, I love when Mo try to not laugh. <laughs> no, it's fun. Mo, no, the tattoo is, is, is funny. Mo, the tattoo is funny, but that's not a, the funniest one a, to me, though. Do you think it's... That's got a, a trombone it's a weird, on it's a weird, it's a weird choice. I'm not telling them. I thing. agree. Yo, I don't choice. think that's the, 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 the Yo, weirdest Mo, one, though. Make what sure if, you get the saxophone. What if, <laughs> <laughs> what if one of us got that tattoo? I would definitely need... I mean, if you're I not, have that tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not a musician or an artist, I would question that. Wait, so you get a pass if you're a musician or an artist for you having... You kind of understand it. I know it has something to do with music. I, I know can't it's understand that movie? It's musical inspiration. It has to be. It has to be. Coming from Drake, it has to be. I still don't get it, though. I don't understand why that. I, I don't know. But, you know. Maybe I'm just not... I didn't make enough money to think like that yet. You know when you make a certain amount of money, you start thinking different. You start really like... You open different chakras and shit. Sinking into that mobile yeah, blues. Yeah, like, like, like your shit opens up a little more. The nigga know. with 200 million try to show you how to move. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to move like that. You ain't think his jokes was funny. Yeah, you word. I I you like fucking that. the game up. I don't never want to think like that. Um, Damn it. Oh shit! What 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 is you guys um phone service provider? AT and T. AT and T. What they said? AT and T. Chris, you too. Sprint. I knew it was a sprinter around. Yo, spe- there's uh, always one Sprint guy oh, around. Yeah. Side note: Have y'all been to Toronto? Right. Speaking of Drake and phone services, not ever since I beefed with Drake. Mm-hmm. I am afraid. Why is it? Everything in Toronto is who is Rogers in Toronto? Oh, the center, center yeah. is hey, Rogers. Roger. My phone that's service their, that's their AT&T. when I land is Rogers. I'm, I'm still <laughs> looking for Tim Horton. <laughs> yeah, that's their AT&T. There's a Tim Hortons on every block. I'm so sick of Tim Horton and his coffee. <laughs> Somebody from Toronto now. tweet me and explain to me who yeah, Rogers Tim is. In New York now, right? Everything is Rogers in Toronto. Yeah, Where that's, is that's Tim Horton in New York? In, in Canada. Okay. Where's Tim, Tim Hortons in New York? Where? There is a Tim Hortons in New York. There's a few of them. In the Bronx? No, no, in the city. They gentrifying the Bronx. They gentrifying everywhere. Even Staten Island, I was surprised. Yeah. What? No, they're not. Who live in Staten Island? Yeah. They are gentrifying Staten Island. I thought they that'd be the last every, to go. Everywhere that we tore down and we didn't take pride in, all these places, so, Harlem, go, uh, and they're moving back in. And go right when you get off the fucking E in Jamaica. There's a whole two huge high rises of luxury condos going up. Where at? Uh, on Sutphin and Archer. Two big ass fucking, uh, you know. Twenty five hundred dollars a month for a living room type that's, of condos. That's crazy. We're not gonna address Bridget Kelly at all because that's your friend, Rory, right? I love Bridget. You I can address Bridget her. Kelly too. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! All right, Bridget now we're gonna do it. Since both of y'all, <laughs> <laughs> if it was only Rory that loved her, maybe not. Yeah. Wait, love you Bridget. love her too? Yeah. All right. My, why do you guys love her? She's cool as shit. I think so too. Cool as shit. When you're cool as shit, isn't that more reason for the jokes to fly? I mean, jokes can always fly. I don't, I don't. So, with that said, have you seen Love and Hip Hop? No, I don't. What uh, did Booby do now? 
Uh, Poopy. I have not watched. Rory, have I have not seen? watched any of it because Bridget told me she was on it, and I did not want Bridget, to watch it because Bridget, I love her too much. Bridget, friend of the show. Since <clears throat> two people on the show are your friends, <laughs> <laughs> I would like you to come answer for this. I'm not even going to kill you. I'm not. I'm not going to kill you. But I would like for Bridget Kelly to come on this podcast and answer for some of the behavior that we are seeing on television that I don't know to be Bridget Kelly. I, I guess can, I will I say that, her. and I will leave that at that, right? Is that a nice, clean way to, to go about that? Because we do love Bridget. If she's uh, in New York next week, I will ask her to come on. Okay, good. Is there anything else that I care about? Did we miss something? Hold on, let me look at my list. Oh, wait, you said you didn't enjoy the hip-hop honors. We didn't even get into that. I played the Pharrell clip for us to talk about the hip-hop yeah, honors, yeah. and we didn't talk about it. You didn't really enjoy so it. So what happened was, what had happened was, I started with the beginning because I saw, you know, they, they kind of leak who's going to be on it. So I thought it was going to be good. It starts out fucking uh, Lil Romeo is doing uh, I Got the Hookup, Holla If You Hear Me. He doing, uh, I'm like, all right, I don't think this is for me. And then I didn't like. And Romeo took the Lil off his name. So watch your mouth. My <laughs> pardon yeah, me, B. Pardon me. I'm sorry. Up. I'm sorry. Now you were saying. <laughs> Aren't you and Romeo at the same age, though? Uh, huh? I actually think he's older than me. Say something else. Hmm. Say he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth. Say something wild about Romeo. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, First of all, you can't even get beat I didn't up by like a nigga how named they, Romeo. I, what you can't get beat up by a nigga named Romeo. No. I'm not even letting that happen. I'm going to jump that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Romeo. Um, then fucking... Uh, I, don't I didn't like how they look like Romeo. I don't know. Nothing about Romeo looks like me. But anyway. You both light skin. Uh I didn't like the Martin shit. Uh I was on board when uh Avion Crockett came out and did the Dragonfly Jones shit. I started to be with it and then it just stopped. I think Martin felt uncomfortable. He thought it was gonna be more than it was, and then I cut it off. Okay. This morning, somebody who uh I appreciate their hip hop opinion was like, Oh, that shit was crazy last night. So I went back and watched the second half, mm -hmm. which was phenomenal. But oh, I was ready honors? to I was ready to come here and hate on it. I only on watched the first honors, half. Yeah, I thought the, the yeah. first half I thought was trash. Uh, I really enjoyed Missy, it. Missy was outstanding. Oh, and in the first half, Trick and Trina were the only two that I enjoyed out of that whole thing. You just said Missy was amazing. That was the first half. No, Missy was. No, she was before Trick and Trina. She kind of no. opened. Oh, then yeah, maybe Missy, I missed the Missy, opening. Missy opened. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah then maybe I came late. Rerun. Oh, she <laughs> opened I call it late? In, in the black suit. Oh, she destroyed that black. No, I agree. Maybe I. All right, then I watched it late and then cut it off late. Yeah, I I enjoyed that, and I don't normally enjoy the hip hop honors. This was probably the first one. I probably even only continued to watch it because it tailed up love and hip hop. But right after that, I got into uh my fucking uh show. Um, uh, what's the name of my show? I was just fucking talking about. Um. Uh, the Confession Tapes. Oh, that's my shit. The Confession Tapes. I'm hooked. I'm in. The Confession Tapes. Yes. Netflix. Oh, turn me up. Turn my fucking... You're not plugged in. Hey, what the hell? God damn it. It's your fault. If you have never seen The Confession Tapes... Uh... Well, no. Let me not start there. If you're into all of the same shows like I am, all the shows I'm into, somebody has to die and we have to figure out who it is and who did it and why. If it's not a murder mystery, I'm not even turning on my fucking if, TV or a murder if, documentary. You have to die. You have to die. If you believe that Katy Perry is John Bonet Ramsey grown up, this is for you. What? That's a, that's a conspiracy. <laughs> it's a real conspiracy. And I've said it on this podcast. We've talked about it. Yeah, I know that some people <laughs> think that she is that person. Thank, thank you. Now I don't remember what I was talking I gotta look about. Confession this. tapes. Oh! The Confession Tapes. The Confession Tapes uh, is a show on Netflix. It's a series. It's a, uh, eight episodes. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about it. There's no spoiler alert. However, it revolves around the police getting confessions from people who did not commit the crimes that they confessed to and the different police tactics that they use, how these things are admissible in court, and how these people are spending the rest of their life in jail. I guess that is a spoiler. That's alert. a spoiler. Yeah. There's no spoiler. Uh, it's already happened. Was, yeah. it's, it's the out. new. It's it, the news. It happened. Yeah, it's, it's the news. But you, but you should watch it. Man, that show is fucking awesome. It super is super dope. It is really, really good. And I say that just because I like to keep you guys abreast on 
good shit they were watching. I did six episodes straight, so. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm probably finished that shit tonight. Um, let's see what else happened. I only asked you guys about your phones because Sprint and fucking uh, Sprint and T-Mobile are merging. Both for the trash niggas. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I thought that that was really, really Big awesome. Because if you if you combine trashes, it's like, you get a height. You got yeah. You have like, a dumpster. Chris, your phone might be. I mean, like cool in the near future. Combine trashes. Yeah, combine your trashes. Um, what else dope is happening? New Jersey has voted on niggas to smoke weed. Shout outs to New Jersey. <laughs> They're gonna legal <laughs> what? They're gonna legalize that shit. And weed is a big business. Right? Huge no. Business. They might as well just go okay. ahead and do it in New York too, because it's all coming right here. I ne- I don't get though. As people that are weed smokers, why do they want it to be legal? It's gonna get taxed. It's gonna be more expensive. There's gonna be limitations on it. The just cop from it gets... your dealer uh, anonymously and then go about your business yeah, for $10, ten, fifteen dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're still gonna do that. Yeah, that's my gonna my problem too. is when they get like fucking cigarettes and they put mad fucking fiberglass and all types of shit in it. That's gonna be whack. <laughs> Wait what? The way I, cigarettes I actually, got mad yo, shit in to it. Be like, honest, they're gonna do that to weed. I might be rolling with this shit too. I think they're gonna kill people with the weed. They they're gonna, yeah. They, yeah, they're gonna process the weed. That's I never, I didn't, yeah. I never the thought same about shit that. they put oh, in yeah. chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Rory, he's been holding that in for a minute. You've been, <laughs> you've been wanting to make a stance for your chicken nuggets you know for a while. Now. Let me get all these topics out so we can get to sleep. Kyrie, y'all watched? Holy shit! Yes. Kyrie gotta let his beard grow back, man. He look nuts. He does look nuts. <laughs> is, that a, is that a Boston thing? I think I think that was that a that was, I think that was his way of just starting new, starting. starting I like fresh. Kyrie better when he looked like Surf. LeBron is, <laughs> LeBron is gonna fuck Kyrie up. And they got the first game of the season. Oh, he's fucking him up pregame. I can't wait. LeBron need to guard Kyrie first possession. Come down, clear it out. Everybody move. LeBron, actually, if you don't do that, you pussy. Real shit. Right? Real shit. Everybody because, move because who on Cleveland can guard Ky- Kyrie? Well, I mean, naturally, who on D Boston? Rose, who D can Rose guard Bron? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up, uh, Rory Maul. I mean, no, I'm saying naturally, Maul. D Rose is going to have to guard. That, him. All right, that was nobody can guard Kyrie in the league. Nobody. All right, well, LeBron would have a better shot, no? I mean, he would have a better shot, yes, but hey, let me tell you something. I think that all of the LeBron tweets and posts and captions and pictures that all say. Man, when the fuck does the season start? I'm ready to ball. Because <laughs> mm. all of that, listen, I done seen him with Hoodie Mellow rocking. Mm. He's been tweeting this. He's been dancing and working out every fucking day. He, him and Kevin Love is rocking. He at UCLA. Everything that LeBron is saying is saying, nigga, when is game? When does the season start? Yeah, it looks like he's looking for the smoke. Yeah, he's ready. He wants to smoke. Mm-hmm. Do Kyrie want that smoke, though? Absolutely. Gordon Hayward does not want that smoke. Hey, Kyrie, <laughs> let me tell you, you ain't got, like, soldiers riding with you. I don't think that in your time of need, Al Horford and Gordon no. Hayward are holding it down. <laughs> Especially how much money they what? want. Yeah. They're not doing that shit. Come on, Gordon Hayward coming from fucking Mormon, yeah. Utah? Basketball Fuckers Rory worth, like, 20 million. Don't get it twisted. No, I'm not talking about who. I'm, I'm talking about life. Ch- he ain't Chandler Parsons. I'm talking hoop. about Chandler Parsons can't hoop? No. Nigga have one bad season and he can't hoop all He's the had a lot of bad seasons. He didn't even deserve the money he got. You said Sean Bradley had bad seasons. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Still not over that, nigga. That I'm not off it. He riding with that shit. I'm yeah, riding yeah, yeah. with it. I don't give a fuck. Uh, uh, I guess we have to talk about this on a, on a more somber note. I forgot to mention last week about uh, Drake's man that was murdered in cold blood. I want to say, and send prayers out to his family. <clears throat> I want to send prayers out to... Uh, the OVO crew, anybody that knew this gentleman, uh, because the police released the video today of him uh, being murdered. I I, I just feel like there's something against that. It it, it should be a law against that. What, releasing the video? I understand that they have to release the video to help find the culprit. They should crop that shit or something. (sighs) But they say that. Don't you only need to see the culprits? But you can't even see them. If I'm a grieving mother, I don't want to see that, man. Yeah. If I'm a, if I'm if I'm Drake, I don't want to fucking see. I don't I don't if I know this man and I love this man and you put a, I don't want to see that vid. I don't you? know him and I didn't want to see the vid. I wish you. And name any of those type of cameras where you could really see the person. No, Both the motherfuckers had their hoods up. You can't see it. It's it's just for the internet to go watch a kid die, which ain't 
It's not cool. Kevin it's... Hart extortion plot woman video. Woman in a video is a traveling stripper. She's plot gonna, was that a was that a plot twist? She's, <laughs> she's, she's gonna that lose her fucking. She's gonna be debarred. Oh wait a minute! This was the, this bar. This was the other thing. When niggas thought that the girl that he cheated with was the Miami singer slash songwriter, mm -hmm. that's when I was really coming in this podcast to kill Kevin Hart. Why? If there's somebody that you shouldn't cheat with, it's the singer songwriter from Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Opportunist. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not rolling. I'm not rolling. But that wasn't her. Also, I forgot to mention on that fucking hip hop honor shit. Fucking uh, escape, uh, uh, escapes. Candy and Tiny came out and performed No Scrubs, mm -hmm. which I was confused about. But I was then, confused about a lot of. But things then I turned to have. Twitter, and T Boz was confused too. <laughs> so was Coco, and so was Lily from SWV. They all were tweeting about it. I love old R&B <laughs> diva beef. <laughs> I love that all the bitches is killing Brandy. They don't respect nobody that I thought was great back in the days. Hulk Hogan is getting shamed. Nobody like Brandy? They getting Brandy out of here. Why? They've been trying to get Brandy's talented ass out of here for they 15 that, years. They say that she has some mental issues. They say that she's going through some things, and that's believable. Don't we, I'm talking about her talent, though. Don't we all? Trying to get no, her? we're not getting her out of here for So they're getting talent. out of here for personal reasons. Yeah, okay. not for her talent. Oh, okay. But when do that's we care about talent today? No, because you said they, they were tweeting about why they performing no scrubs, and then you said people tried to get Brandy out of here. I'm like, I'm confused. Like, wait. No, those weren't related. Okay. But I'm just saying. Well, listen, you knew they was trying to get Brandy out of here when Ray J became the prominent sibling. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I like Ray J. Ain't that Brandy's brother? So no, that's Ray J. Yeah. Basically. Uh, I think I got everything. Uh, your man KD. Kevin two, Durant. Two accounts. He got caught. Slipped up. I think, in the words, third person. I, the, think he, I think that's a real nigga move. In the words of Trey Songs, like the rapper from Brooklyn, Big L. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Wait, Trey Songs said that? You don't remember when he tweeted that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. How do y'all not yeah, remember, yeah, I that? remember I that. that? I do remember I that. that. I do remember that. I do remember that. Trey killed Rory tweeted. just now. He did say that. I thought that. that was a Rory ball. No, <laughs> that was a Trey Song's tweet. He said Trey did say that. Oh, like God. the like the late rapper from Brooklyn, Big L. What was the quote? That was that's all he tweeted. So much oh. wrong with that line. <laughs> Yo, There's just so much wrong with that line. He didn't even hit this with was the early. Line? This was like 2010 Twitter. Oh man. Big L's not even from Brooklyn. I, I know. That's what made the <laughs> tweet so funny. Oh, man. That's funny. Trey can't wait for this auto-tune phase to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sick of these R&B niggas. He's going to kill Tory Lanez. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you don't think Trey Songz will fuck Tory Lanez up. All right, y'all pussies. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> y'all pussies. All right, here's a clip. Of, here's a clip. I saved it just because it's funny. <laughs> I'm going to shout this guy out. Just cause that's how funny I laughed. That's how funny I laughed. That's how much I laughed at this earlier. At the Ab Moon, went and found a video of Mexican-born Kevin Hart <laughs> speaking Spanish. So stop trashing black men. Buenos noches, diez. Siete, ocho. Me llamo Kevin y tú. ¿Dónde, dónde este va? ¿Cómo siete y seis? <laughs> Yo, did he Holy start off shit. counting at first? Did I hope it sounded like he started with um again. He said, Well, what is noches? Diaz. What? Diaz? Buenos noches, Diaz. <laughs> Siete, ocho. <laughs> eh, me amo. Que vení tú. <laughs> ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde este va? Eh, como si este es. Uh, now, how true is this? Is, 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 is Tiny pregnant again? So I'm not stopping my train of thought for that. <laughs> I just, I just, I just see something. I online. don't know. I saw T.I. Uh, posted fine. something said was going to wait, but oh well, lucky number eight on the way. I saw someone say that Tiny impregnated T.I. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that I, I see, what, that I see what we've, what we've gone <laughs> in this podcast. Now this is that's this what is I silly saw. hour. <laughs> we've entered the silly hour. <laughs> You niggas have officially entered the silly hour. Ass chick, you can't extort me if you wanted to. Hold you tripping, asking 14 million fuck is wrong with you. Don't you know that I am married and my wife is pregnant too? Making threats to drop my sex tape, go do what you gotta do. Look, 
You can't extort me. I just tell the truth. Yeah, <laughs> ain't dropping no cash now. I just tell the truth. My wife ain't about to leave me. She look like Boo Boo the fruit. Matter of fact, hand me the phone. I'll call the FBI on you. Now what she say? Drop a sex tape on who? Let's find out and see H A R T. I'm running comedy. Got my own shoe with Nike. You foul as fuck. We was partying. Why you recording me? Why you demand in the back that sound like extortion to me? Honestly, don't give a fuck cause all men probably cheat. I'd rather go face black Twitter than to have you robbing me. I don't hey. negotiate with hoes. Ain't no groupie robbing me. Rather say that I was wrong and oh bum ass chick. You oh bum ass chick. I like that. I like the way he came in on that. I thought he did a good job. Yeah. That's oh, okay. why I played it. It sounded like he actually could rap. It sounds like Kevin Hart should actually just do that. It sounds like Kevin Hart doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's the other thing. When you're a comedian, everything you do is funny. Yeah. So this is like such a time of, like such a trying time. It's probably a time where you need people to be as supportive as possible, and we're all just laughing. <laughs> it is rather funny, though. It is funny. It's funny. It's funny. Uh... I think we got everything. Yeah. I think you might be right. Uh, let's see here. Man, yeah, I think we did. Where are we at on time? Your, Two hours. Your oh. Giants stinking oh my it up. Fucking giants are trash. Oh, yeah, let's get to that. <laughs> <laughs> who won last week? Who, who won the picks? Who you got oh, I got the picks. Week? I got the picks. Y'all got sleepers? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, none of us got sleepers, bro. No. Oh. It's all about the Giants. Oh, no, Damn. let's go back to our... Uh, this fucking... Stupid game you started. All right, Park, yep. Parks had the Raiders. Easy. They won. Maul had Pittsburgh. They, they won. won. Joe had Seattle. Who did Seattle they play? Yeah, they played. Two picks, bro. Oh, they won. You just saying that? Uh, they probably they did lost. win. They beat. They the, no, they won. Yeah, they beat the Niners twelve to nine. I'm oh glad. yeah, no, I know that game. game existed. Hey, no, it was a good game. They won. That doesn't sound like a good game. My uh, fantasy team I had the trash. Chiefs and the Chiefs won. The Chiefs won. All right, so who's pu- pull up the games now, so we can pick uh next week's mm-hmm. part. Me and people in so everybody. Me, won. This is called uh, suicide something. It's dark. It's dark. Suicide. Oh, suicide. Yeah. All right. Well, you uh, said we can't pick the same team again, right? No, Isn't you can't pick the same team again. Right, parts. Cool. No, that's cool. All right. Who did I pick? Oh, the Raiders. I'm okay, bring cool. this shit you picked up. the Raiders. Can somebody, oh my God! Man, computers and technology in here. The Unabomber's right. <laughs> you love the Unabomber. The Unab- <laughs> Joe is the Unabomber. <laughs> I cannot wait for the DC sniper doc. Why has there not been a DC sniper doc? There's probably one on YouTube. I'm sure there's one on YouTube, but that's going to be a great one. Holy shit! And the season finale of The Sinner is tonight. Jessica Biel, The Sinner. I'll, I'll say no more. Uh, but if you binge watch shows, you should check out The Sinner. I don't remember the fucking network. Oh, USA. The Sinner on USA. Oh my god! Tonight, I'm excited about that. Yo, some, tell me y'all still good, didn't pull up the football games. No, I did. There's some good matchups this week. Week three about to be lit. Well, let me read them because whoever read them last week was trash. Uh, Rams, Niners, Texans, Patriots. Ravens, Jaguars, Broncos, Bills, Saints, Panthers, Steelers, Bears, Falcons, Lions, Browns, Colts. I want the Steelers this week. Buccaneers, Vikings, Dolphins, Jets, Giants, Eagles, Seahawks, Titans, Bengals, Packers, Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders, Redskins, Cowboys, Cardinals. I am taking the Steelers this week. That is my pick. I think that they will destroy the Chicago Bears. Steelers is tough. And you guys still sound confused. I'm taking the no. Patriots. Yeah, it's an easy one. <laughs> well, while you guys. Over, over the fucking Texans. The Texans oh, wait, we could, we, could, we could pick the Patriots now? After the week, since the week is No. Because they you lost You can never the pick week. them again. <laughs> okay. Well, Maul, you picked Pittsburgh. You could pick the Patriots. No, he can't. The nope. Patriots and the Giants, because we started this game in week two, they're out. They're, they're out. They both lost week one. They're out. We cannot pick them. Why? No one picked. That wasn't I just even part told of the you game. why we started. <laughs> yeah, I the remember game. last we week started we, the game we couldn't late. pick the Patriots. We started the game late. <clears throat> That's why. All right. So while y'all look at that, I'm gonna play. Um, <laughs> I'm at a place in my life where I that, feel right? like I have a target <laughs> on my back, and because of that, I should make smart decisions. And recently, 
I didn't. I'm taking the Broncos um, over the Bills. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I am or, or give me Oakland over Washington for him. And uh, I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment. Packers where over Bengals. Where only bad things can happen. Josh, and they did. <laughs> and in doing that, I know that I'm going to hurt the people closest to me, mm. who I've talked to and apologized to, no being my wife and my kids. Um, and I just, you know, it's, it's a shitty moment. It's a shitty moment you when, you, when you know you're wrong. And there's no excuses for your wrong behavior. Um, at the end of the day, man, I just simply got to do better. But I'm not going to also allow a person to to have financial gain off of my mistakes. And in this particular situation, that's what was attempted. I said I'd rather... F- All right, who are we picking? Oh, I wrote it down. All right, so Joe got Steelers. I have the Broncos. Moore has Oakland. Parks has the Packers. Who the Packers playing? I don't think they got an easy game. The Redskins. Uh, There's no. not a lot Bengals. of easy games. Bengals. Week three might be all right. The Bengals are so trash. Oakland trash. Gonna, Oakland gonna beat the shit out of Washington. I mean, I don't know that. No, I don't know about that. I don't know is that. that who they playing I don't know that. I do. <laughs> I don't not. know about the shit. I think they'll win that game, but I don't know about. Beat I don't even the shit. know if that's what they playing. Yeah, I'm yeah, not, it is what they playing. I'm not rolling with the shit. I was either. gonna pick one of the Brown, either the Browns or the Colts, but that's a loser bowl. I'm not gonna set myself up. Oh, here's that a, early. Here's something nice for for Maul. Adidas has overtaken Jordan as the number two brand in U.S. sport footwear. Duh. No, I'm shocked. Nah, I'm nah, shocked that, that nah, Jordan nah, had You're not going to just give me a duh right there. Who didn't know that? I've been arguing. No, no, in no, favor no, 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 no. We had a big You've been arguing about Nike. Talk. You've been arguing about look, Nike. Look at him trying to clean that You've up. You've been arguing about it's Nike. About Nike. Not, Nike, not Jordan. Own, doesn't Nike own Jordan? But Jordan is still different. totally different, yeah. though. <laughs> at no point did I ever say Adidas was bigger than Nike. Yes, you did. Yes, no, you did. I did Let's just not. get the sleepers. Yes, no, I did not. Yes, you did. Let's just get the sleepers. My entire argument you for, you, for you people who cannot hear, luckily we do a podcast, everything is documented. Bring that shit my back. Entire Episode 123. Point, that's why shit. we need an intern. But my point was Adidas, who for my entire life was like nothing, is on Nike's heels. That was my point. They're and then you Nike told me Adidas that nothing you, te- you told me not on Nike, Nike still not is even not close. worried about Adidas at all. They're and still, still not even close. And then I said, no, not today. But when you look at projections in business, like I would assume Nike is doing, they would have to be cognizant of what Adidas is doing. We had that conversation <laughs> Adidas is here. still not even close, though. Today. Yeah. They still have a very yeah, long way to go before you, Nike You changing your threat. tone. You were saying right now. Yeah, you said Adidas, Adidas was, Nike to was fuck towering out over Nike. That's what you said. That's exactly what I said. said I might be quoting you verbatim. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm such a genius. That shit don't even sound right what y'all niggas are saying. We just talking about it. <laughs> I know that's what you, you said. said. You said Nike was number two. Yeah, that, that's what I said in 2017. You said Nike was beating Adidas. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah motherfucker, that. you did. Yeah. did say that. <laughs> yeah, we got yeah, exactly. did say that. We got sleepers. <clears throat> trying to uh, sleep or your way see, out of this one. Oh, do we care about uh do we care about the Mexican cartels taking a stand and shooting and killing anybody that comes there to work from narcos? Uh, whatever, I mean, what did they whatever think, they say what did they, they think with? was gonna happen. I'm not surprised at that. Not surprised. Why did the people for nar- from narcos think that they could send the scout locator to the most dangerous place in Mexico? Why did the scout say I'll do this? Word. Because that was his job, and as I was reading, like the fucking blog, couldn't, get, couldn't the, give me enough the, money. The blog obituary, the last paragraph. The blog obituary. Yeah, you know you got to put an obituary on the blog. <laughs> <laughs> the last paragraph was like he made his career scouting the most dangerous of locations from, and I was like, uh, not the most. Mistake number one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. It definitely rest couldn't in, have gave me that job. Rest in peace to him, though. He shouldn't. Yeah, nah. White people think. Well, no, he's not white. Was he's he white? Spanish? He, I think he was Mexican. Yeah, but he's oh, work, he working for the man, though. Shit. You work for the man. You the man. It's crazy. Maul, do we have sleepers? I think I covered everything. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I really, really care about. I don't care about uh, Nike unveiling their fucking jerseys. Whoop de do. Good for them. Uh, yeah. Oh, back to Rory's point on last week about 40s and waffles. Uh, they didn't. They, the venue didn't allow them to bring in the forty, the forties. They oh, had okay. them. Though. No, that's my people. I'm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just cool saying they, they had them. My bad. <laughs> my bad, Mo. No, I'm just saying that they. <laughs> you know, Courtney hit me. She was like, "No, we just weren't allowed to bring them in." Oh, I was t- drunk at that shit. I didn't <clears> care. <throat> there there might have been forties there. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken my word for it. Shout outs to forties and waffles. The new uh, September twenty third. I think they're doing the last one for the year in L A. Might try to make. That. Do you work for forties and waffles? 
No, I want the 40s in a while. No, I don't want 40. I don't drink no more. Good, good. Uh, do we care that uh, Mike Tyson reportedly confirms Jamie Foxx will play him in upcoming bi- biopic? It's going to be dope. Yeah, everybody knew that, though. He was That little piece he put out with Ebro was crazy. Every, had everybody one. That was like the trailer when he <laughs> was describing how the movie opens. I put my faith in Jamie in that because typically I thought when he was about to do Ray, I was like, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> laugh at his Ray impression just because he's a comedian, Body but I was shit. completely wrong. So, yeah. But Jamie I'm, has I'm, been, I'm, he's here been, for Jamie he's been on that. mimicking Mike for years. Forever. Like, yeah, I know, like, but it's always been funny. Yeah. But Jamie is so talented. I, I think he'll do all right in that shit. No, I think he will too. He's going to body that. Jamie's one of the most talented people on planet Earth ever. I'm going to make my list. It's Jamie, Chris, Glover, me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll stop there. Anyone have sleepers? Maul. I'm one of the most talented. Yeah, I appreciate that. I was asking if you had sleepers, more. Oh, yeah, I got sleepers. Y'all want to save my sleeper first? Yeah, I wasn't thinking about my like, oh. talent level. Okay, my bad. I already know you're pretty talented. All right, uh, so does OVO and Rough got... Riders and uh, Bad Boy. Wait, is Rock someone Rock doing... Rockefeller uh... and Young Money. Shady. And Cash Money and Shady. Am I playing mine first? And DeBarge. DeBarge? <laughs> Start naming R&B niggas. The pips. <laughs> <laughs> Is someone doing the whispers? Uh, should, we oh, do, should we do a mall segment? Or, Before we get that, I can I forget about that one. Wait, 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 wait. No, last one, last one, last one. I promise. Last one, last one, last one. This is great. Oh, come on. Come on. Michael McDonald on this shit. I, All right. Um, <laughs> I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target on my back. And because of that, I should make smart decisions. Hey, and depending recently, what she picked, return of the Mac to work too. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> and I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen, and they did. And in doing that, I know that I'm going to hurt the people closest to me, who I've talked to and apologized to. Being my wife and my kids. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, last one. I promise. Last one. Last one. Last one. More, you got your sleeper? I'm trying to find it. <clears throat> hey. What? Don't play with me. Oh, oh duh. Up, up you don't have the sleeper yet? iTunes, dude. Yeah, right. I would, Rory, don't get <laughs> fucking crazy here. Or learn hey. how to type. Yeah, just learn how to type. Well, how come I can't type uncle? Oh, you play yeah. Uncle Murder? Hang, hang out with too many white people. Uncle Murder dropped the uncle, I think. Um, <laughs> I'm at a place in my life where... Um, I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target on my back. And because of that, I should make smart decisions. And recently, I didn't. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape, or form. And I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment Damn. where only bad things can happen, and they did. I'm so sorry, and baby. in doing that, I know that I'm going to hurt the people closest to I me. I never meant to do you who wrong. I've talked to and apologized to, being my wife and my kids. I'm sorry. Um, and I just, you know, it's, it's a shitty moment. It's a shitty moment when you, when you know you're wrong, <laughs> and there's no excuses for your wrong behavior. Um, at the end of the day, man, I just simply got to do better. But I'm not going to also allow a person to to have financial gain off of my mistakes. And in this particular situation, that's what was attempted. I said I'd rather fess up to my mistakes. Maul, you ready? Are you playing Belly? Um, I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target on my back, and because of that, I should make smart decisions. Just a funny ass. And recently, I did it. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Right, right. right. Shut up, Ruben. It's a good song though. And when was Ruben playing Paul? <laughs> Wait. Man, you are such a dick. Give, give me the arch, man. It's like I wait. It's like I missed the shot. It's like I dropped the ball. No shit. You missed the shot. And dropped the ball. You fat. 
<laughs> you know what's funny? Ruben is my man, too. <laughs> he probably smoke you, too. Ruben ball. shouldn't be playing ball. He might be nice. <clears throat> I don't care both, if he is nice. Y'all both had a hit no four, so. I'm, uh, I didn't even have a hit no four. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Same time. I'm going to play. This is uh, Little Etho featuring Mayhem Lauren. This is called High. I like I like Mayhem Lorraine. It's my guy. Shout out to fucking Forest Hills. You niggas get high. I get high. Let's get high, nigga. Yeah. Difference between the house and the home. Mama raised the village. Papa played with killers. Cold defenders. That wrote the enders. Hey. Or did it? Maybe it did. I gave my lady a hard time, she gave me her red. Yeah. Safe to say that's my soulmate. Living day to day, scrape the blow plate. You don't know who you with, know yourself. Right. My niggas on go, trying to go straight. No results yet. Just acetone cans with the compress. Four pounds to make your palms sweat. Gotta listen more, talk less. Still modest, used to fill dockets, spill pockets, bitches fill crotches, prosperous, but I don't do snake skins or ostrich or polish. A nigga, the system wanna abolish. Yeah, you don't know who you with, know yourself. Put a hole in your shit over wealth. Yeah, yeah, you on your own, no one else. Let's get high, nigga. Yeah, court dreams is tarnished. These little niggas 14 with charges He wanna be the next designer Just gotta respect the grinders, you know? I've been in and out the game champ Since Theo had the birds with the name stamped Street lights, I'm still under the same lamp We going up north once the chain clamps That's just you niggas get high I get high, Let's get high, nigga yeah, difference between the house and the home You don't know who you with, know yourself Put a hole in your shit over wealth yeah. Yeah, You on your own, no one else uh-huh. Let's get high, nigga Yo, let's shake out, get in this flake out uh. Truffle french fries for takeout uh. My whole team getting cream now that niggas never seen though. You might have seen me in the back streets pitching. Work to some cookers with they back teeth missing. I'm blowing like the Vatican at midnight. Pardon my ways, I had to get this crib right. So much jewelry, probably think I did a heist. These drugs are free, I'm only selling them advice. P.O.P.O., my Peruvian struggle. Got a thick white chick that got a Nubian bubble. Got a thick black chick that got a white girl's hair. Told them both to play nice because life ain't fair. Shit, I'm in the beach chair, rocking ski wear. Watching people cop all the grams, my niggas prepare. Rocking crisp leathers with some crisp weapons. G- up, then we read up, nigga the strips fed us In the building even when I'm outside Fuck around, you getting outlined, pussy You don't know who you with, know yourself Put a hole in your shit over wealth <laughs> yeah, You on your own, no one else Let's get high, nigga That's Lil Ito featuring Mayhem Lauren called High Lil Ito, I see you, Shout nigga. out Mayhem Lauren, friend of the show That was hard Loito, I fuck with Loito. That beat was hard. I'm ready to rob somebody now. <clears throat> you got one? Yeah, I guess. Need a reach? Thanks. Microphone check. One, two. Mall sleepers be making me want to rap sometimes. <laughs> For real. You gotta cut that shit out. What you mean? Like New you, York I ain't rapping, shit, so man. don't do it. This would be the best time for you to rap. Nah, I'm cool. Okay. Why would now be the best time? What you mean? Because Uzi getting slick out the mouth. I, I mean, Uzi was talking shit. No, I, should, I, I think go, I, I think go. that you have. I, I thought you fucked. Uzi. You have a lot to, a lot more content now. I should go teach uh, Uzi and Russ not to test the lyrical venom that exudes from my pen. Woo! <laughs> no, oh. sound like the rage machine right <laughs> up. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh. yeah, you didn't even have that. Gunshots are corny. Should I play the, the new Sonder record or the new Kevin? Uh, I play the Kevin Ross oh, shit. Like, should I, I got I got a couple. I, I got a couple. I got a couple with, sleepers today. The fuck is he? Black should I go sheep? barefoot? Should I go Timberland? Should I hit him with this or should I hit him with that? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 
Shit, this is the first week I've had a couple that I could play. It's uh, Kevin I've got Ross a few Don't too Go. Today. I like Kevin Ross. I'm going to play Saunders, Saunders' new shit next week. Now why you gotta go and come climb on top of me, babe? Imani got to snuff in for this, too. We gonna mess around and won't find the time to sleep, babe. This is Imani in my, in my brain. I did want to end with Imani's project. Strong now and I'm feeling like a user And I can't put you down You're my past, my now, my future you one exception to the rule To everything I thought I knew No one else would ever do it is. For the Rory 16. Remember when you heard it first? That's brand new for my man Kevin Ross. It's Henny, called Henny Don't Rory Go. Got 16 for that. Right here, 101.9. That'll be all for my man DJ Henny Rory coming up next. Smooth sounds. Henny Rory of, is bad funny. Uh, Henny Rory is not funny. It's sad. <laughs> she need help. <laughs> Should we get into you, boys? I've been needing help. <laughs> uh,. Sabrina Claudio put out a new joint. I love it. I love her. This is called Belong to You. Uh, Take shout out to her manager, who's a big, big friend of the show. That's my man. Talk all day, then and night for- First of all, how come on all of Sabrina Claudio's songs, she has the perfect phone sex voice? Yeah, she does have yeah, a honestly, pretty tone. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. That's one. And two, why did phone sex die? Because FaceTime came. Yeah, I was about to say FaceTime was born. That is still phone sex, though. Yeah, but it's not just vocal. It's, not like, it's FaceTime sex. FaceTime is like, I can see you. I mean, it's on your phone, though. It's phone yeah, no, no. It's yeah, phone you're sex. not focused on the voice as much yeah. as you are focused on the visual. How do you know what I'm focused on? Just How do you know what general, I'm focused on? I'm not, you know, I'm not even concerned on what the fuck you <laughs> You know, just shut up. <laughs> You're a weirdo. <laughs> like you're a really strange person. And you run a strange music festival. <laughs> that shit was lit, though. I want you mental and physically.
From Sabrina Claudio That one is called Belong to You uh, Freshly released If you're unfamiliar with her It would behoove you to go and just download or stream her back catalog She is amazing um, And that's all I got man I want to thank you gentlemen For yet another really amazing week uh, Is there anything happening this weekend coming up That I should know about? Uh, nah it's over Not that I can think of this one. <clears throat> They got a million They got Hurricane Jose Fucking Hector All types of earthquakes And shit going on Be be careful might, yeah, And be safe smoke, Might need to smoke Some hookah through Jose Forties and strange. waffles In LA this weekend I might No go. fam 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 <laughs> fam fam, fam. I might Maul, go. got a Maul, percentage on Maul. that Maul. Relax. I might go I got it though Alright so hit us When you get there then uh, well, <laughs> Y'all not, not coming Since we plug in You move You move into LA yo I'm telling you I've been saying it It's gonna happen me? No, me, he says. Yes, you. Nigga, I'm looking at you. If I move to L.A., y'all got to move. Do I? If I move to L.A., y'all got to move. I'm not against That's why. I, but I'm not. But no, no, no. You missed <laughs> what I'm saying. That ain't the fuck why. You were so, you were so <laughs> hell bent on never moving to L.A. If I move to L.A., it's because the bag is big enough for me to be in L.A. <clears throat> and if the bag is big enough for me to be in L.A., that means I've already negotiated a big enough bag but for th- you both to be in L.A. No, as no, well. No, no, listen. But that that is why. No, no, no. Don't talk bag talk now. Wait, huh? When we first you had this missed convers- the fucking bag. No, no, now you I, don't want to talk bad no. talk. When we first had this talk, you was just like, man, fuck LA. I'm never moving to LA. That was your stance. It wasn't bag talk. That was my stance. Yeah, so now your stance has changed. Russell Simmons kind of have talked me off uh, that ledge. Only because according to him. He talked you on that ledge. No, he talked me off it. According to him, well, I didn't need him to tell me all the New York niggas is out there. One, pardon me. Two, Russell says, take my word for it. Nobody's more New York than me. It's a move that you have to make if you want to accomplish certain things in your career. That's what he said. I don't care. Wh- and I when will- he says that like that. I will move to the swamps of Mississippi if the bag is big enough. I don't give wouldn't. a fuck. No, Where the bag? Yes, I would. Swamps of Mississippi. I don't care. Nobody's gonna the bag recognize- is the bag. Nobody's going to recognize your little North I don't want to be. I don't want to be recognized. I just want the bag. I don't care if nobody knows me, Joe. All right, so just so I paint the picture before we get out of here. Shorty's going to be laughing at homeboy's corny jokes while you're in the swamps of Mississippi looking at your phone upside down. Yep. (laughs) And I'm going to be counting that cash. You know what? On that note. Mississippi got some joints, no? You shouldn't be worried about where the (laughs) joints are. I'm not going with y'all to the swamps of Mississippi. (laughs) That's what y'all was doing. Um... I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target on my back. I want to thank everybody for listening. I I had a great time with you guys. Prayers, our prayers go out to Kevin Hart. Hold up, man. Our prayers go out to Kevin Hart. Let's all say a prayer for Kevin Hart and Spank. (laughs) And Spank. Who else should we say a prayer for? That whole plastic red cup boy conglomerate they got over there. Wait, what? 
a red plastic. His whole uh, his whole crew. Who's crew? Red red cup red plastic cup plastic red cup boys. Some, or some shit like red that. Red cup boys. Wait, whose crew is that? That's Kevin Kevin's. Owens. That's his. That's oh, like no. their his company. Bunch oh, no. of real good comedians. Oh, no wonder they got he got fucking caught. It's a, it's a bunch. They're good comedians. I'm just talking about. The I'm name, not just. I'm not name. saying they're good friends. I'm only talking about the name of the group. <laughs> the Red Cup Comedians. No, they're it's something doper than what I'm saying. Pl- there you go, Plastic Cup Boys. That's not much doper <laughs> than. Uh, all right, whatever, man. Uh, listen, there you it's, go. it's, it just it's, sounded better than yeah, what I'm saying. It's, it's not my job to judge anybody, man. Let me just get out of here. Shout out to Plastic Cup Boys. Um, I'm at a place in my life where. I feel like I have a target on my back. And because of that, I should make smart decisions. And recently, I didn't. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape, or form. And I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen, and they did. And in doing that, I know that I'm going to hurt the people closest to me. Who I've talked to and apologized to, being my wife and my kids. Check this, check this. Um, and I just, you know, it's, it's a shitty moment. Yeah, I'm so immature. <laughs> Grow up. Whatever. And there's no excuses for your wrong behavior. Um, at the end of the day, man, I just simply gotta do better. But I'm not gonna also allow a person to to have financial gain off of my mistakes. In this particular situation, that's what was attempted. I said I'd rather fess up to my mistakes. Check this. Check this. You, you, you bullshitting, but that would actually chop that up, and that's a great hook for a record. What Kevin's saying. What Kevin's saying? Yeah. Like, if you was to spit a verse and then bring half of that in as a hook. Um, I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target on my back. And oh, I see what you're saying. Because of that, I should make smart decisions. Drop it. I like the, the acapella first and then the drop. And recently, I didn't. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going right, to sit I'm out. See you niggas next week. Shout out to the story that's breaking tomorrow that we didn't know about yesterday because we're not psychic. I bid you adieu. I don't even know what that means. Adieu. Don't never say adieu in my presence. <laughs> Maul. Ever again. Maul.